four, three, two. What up, what up, what up, what up? That, that, that ugly morning. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to yet another edition of the Ugly Money Podcast. Trigger alert, I am your host, Ugly Money Nietzsche. We got an amazing show for you today, but y'all know how we kick it. You got to get my likes up. We're not starting the show till we get to 20 likes, and we got a lot of dope panelists on here today. And you definitely want to tune in. So shouts out to everybody checking in. Shouts out to all my super chats in advance. I appreciate y'all. Shouts out to everybody that subscribed. I appreciate y'all. And we got a show, a show among shows today. So go ahead and mash that like button for me. It's free to like. Go ahead and mash that like button. It is free to like. Shouts out Ben Burnberry. Anybody that's liking the video, I'm giving you a shout out. Shouts out Burnberry45, man. Shouts out to everybody on here. Go ahead and get the likes up. Get the likes up. We got time today. And we got some things to talk about. A lot of things going on in the world right now. Free Young Thug. Got to free him. Uh, somebody snitched on Tax Stone. Yeah, they, they really, he really did. <laughs> Trav, you went out bad. A lot of things going on in hip hop today. I got 18 people. I need 18 likes. Come on, we're going crazy tonight. I'm starting the show at 20 likes. I need to. Hey, hit the like button. Hit the like button. Don't make me start playing some weird music. This is the weakest shot ever. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Shouts out DJ Panamera. He is not a bartender. <laughs> I'm on the Casamigos tonight. All right, we getting the lights up. Okay, they coming. I appreciate y'all. All right, before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and go around the room and introduce my panelists. I got a lovely, a lovely, lovely panelist cast today, man, that we're going to... um. We're going to introduce, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let them introduce themselves. Starting from the far left corner right there, the lovely man in the red jacket. Go ahead and tell him who you are, sir. It's Crank Lucas, the rap deucer in the building, represented DMV, man. Happy to be here. Hey, real quick promo plug. Streets Necessity album dropping March 31st. Make sure y'all get that on all streaming music platforms. It's a must. It's a must. Crank Lucas is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Go match that like button. I got the big dogs in the building. That beautiful queen to your right, Crank Lucas. Go ahead and introduce yourself, queen. My name is Snow Safina, and I am a Pittsburgh native. I'm a music artist and entrepreneur. I got a lot going on. Y'all be on the lookout for my single, Rolling. It drops on Friday, as long, along with the visuals, so... Yeah. Big Snow. Snow Safina. And of course, my esteemed guest co host, Mr. Trigger Alert himself. Go ahead, sir. You, you already know what it is. Your boy Biz, just chill. Follow me on IG, B I Z Z, just chill. All one word. We appreciate y'all tapping in. Let's get to it. And all the way in the corner, <laughs> last but not least. My name is Sammy. I'm a photographer and content creator in Atlanta from the DMV. You can follow me on IG at Sammy Shot Me. Shouts out Sammy. She's from the DMV. She like go go. You already know. You <laughs> like go go too. DMV, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a go go thing. <laughs> All right, now, calm down, calm down now, calm down. You know, I'm from on. Virginia, so, you know, when, when, they, when the go-go party, when the go-go used to come on during the parties or whatever, all the Virginia guys used to back up or whatever, and all the D.C. kids would come out of the freaking darkness and hobo and, and city lights, and they had, <laughs> they had rubber bands around their You know I know what I'm talking about. They had rubber bands around their jeans. They what? all wear uh, hype posits or phone posits. Phone like posits, this, yeah. And they had the hobo shit with the, with the sleeves cut off. Yeah, that was definitely D.C. kids. And they looked like they always was having seizures with Russ the say rubber late band. 90s, early 2000s. <laughs> yeah. Rubber yeah. Yes, sir. Around yeah. the end of yeah. the jeans. For yeah. me, what's that about, though? It, 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 DC had their own swag. It was our swag. own shit. It was our shit. Was, they you had their own day. They had oh, their Lucas, own you had rubber bands around the end of your Motherfucking jeans. Motherfucking right. Okay, respectfully. <laughs> say it with your chest. <laughs> say it with your chest. Yeah. Say it with your chest. I done, I, like popped a, I done popped a couple rubber bands. Yeah, yeah. No, no. DC, DC had their own music. They own way of dressing, they own swag, they own lingo. It was DC. Yeah, DC's is on their own. Salute to DC. Salute to DC. 
And if you go like an hour north, it's they talk completely different. Yeah, uh, Baltimore is <laughs> a whole different world. It's a vibe. Yeah. Salute to DC. Yeah. I love DC on tour. Salute to DC. They always show up the money. Love DC. Shots what they do? Up. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey man, I got a whole lot of people watching right now. I don't got a whole lot of likes. I need you to go ahead and mash the like button, man. I've introduced my panels for the day. Shouts out new antique gaming on the check in. Jim Jones, what's up, my brother? Zone Six is in the building. So we got an interesting show. And uh, we have been talking about this offline earlier today. Um, I had the whole show. <laughs> you had the whole show in the office. No, no cow, oh, no cow. And, and, and I just, I just, I just wanted to uh, go over. You know, hold on. Somebody's mic is is popping crazy. Is that mine? That's that's yours. Okay, check, cool. check. Yeah. So um, I just wanted to go over what we were speaking about. Um, <sighs> when. Monogamy, is it a realistic expectation? Is it real in 2023? Can men be monogamous? Can women be monogamous in 2023? That's a dumb question. That's a dumb question. Now, of, of course men can be. And you know what? I don't even like the narrative that would assume, associate, or say anything that a man couldn't be. I don't know what the what's been said in the media, what's been whatever. I don't care about that. I could speak for a part of a black man, not every one of them. It is nothing to be monogamous. That is, it's so many men out here with one woman so happy with their wife, their girl, and their family with loving and caring relationships. So who for for anybody to think anything less, you sleep and you being very disrespectful to the black man because black men don't cheat. Also, so let's talk about it. What is that about? Oh. What's that narrative about? That's disrespectful. That whoever's got that narrative going that is assuming and saying <laughs> that black men can't be monogamous can't as if not. though it's something that's a, a algebra question. Like it's so hard. No, <laughs> we do this every day. It's millions and millions of black men with their woman, with their wife, with their girl. They're happy. They don't have a side chick, a side bitch, or nothing. Let's stop that, man, because that's terrible. Y'all act like white men the only ones that's in monogamy. You, you look at that white man and say he's so loving and cheering and woody woody. Talk about the black man, you get all crazy. I don't like it. Cook, sir. Disrespectful. My bad. I, I didn't mean to come off like no, that. No, you had your business. Had Let your me business. get in there. Craig like Lucas. That. Craig Lucas, your thoughts on that matter? Uh, I can't. <laughs> and the whole room goes quiet. Nah, it's bullshit. <laughs> Like the question was asked earlier, do men cheat? I, I, it's not cheating, it's exercising options. So a man is in a certain position, if he chooses not to be monogamous, just be honest and upfront about that. But in mass, nah, we're not all just cheaters and just out Come here on, rampantly, brother. just sleeping around. Crazy. Like, and men and women cheat at roughly the same rate as well. Women Ooh. cheat more. Ooh. And better. Ooh. And more calculated. Ooh. And planned it out months ahead. But that's a different conversation. We Whoa. Like we might need to have that one. We might talk about look like how, she... Hey, you know what? And huh. don't think because you cheating with this guy way out of town that your husband never going to meet and woody woo and you went and had your little play and whatever you did and you set it up and you were so organized with your cheating it makes you any better. It is the same thing. Stop playing. Let's talk about it. Hey. Let's talk about that. I got time. Ladies, what do y'all think? I'm confused. You just said black men don't cheat, but women, you think black women cheat? You said women cheat. <laughs> no, I feel as if though women are, oh. uh, yes, thank you. I feel as if though women need to respect the fact that, you know, they are not the only, I mean, men are not the only ones with infidelities. There's a lot of women with it, but we seem to shine the light more on the man just because we're more sloppy, respectfully. That's what mm. I'm trying to say. Mm. No, you over there being patient. Human. Oh. <laughs> Skin glowing on that I Georgia sunlight. Responses. However, the original question, could you please repeat it? Uh, is monogamy unrealistic in 2023? Yeah, we ain't even answered the damn question. I know I did. <laughs> <laughs> I, answered it very I definitely clear. gave a whole other answer to it. I feel like in life, I feel like everything, I think us just being here right now, okay. I feel like our lives are composed of 
decision making. Oh boy. And all the decisions we made. At the end of the day, I feel like any human being, whether male or female, can exercise self discipline or just exercise their code of morality that they live by. You need to pick a side Is and stay there. Possible? What are we doing? I'm confused. Which one? Do they monog Can you expect that in 2023? Is that a yes or a no? I'm just a little bit confused. I'm trying to see which you way you're let going. Me okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Pop your stuff. So, is it possible? It's more than possible. Okay, mm. that's what I was trying to find. At the end of the day, okay. male or female, you have a decision. You can either cheat or not cheat. For people to say that is just so beyond them and against their natural instincts and their natural code of living. Uh, it's a choice. It's you a can choice. make a choice to do it or not to do it. And that defines who you are. Like, period. That shows your character. Cook queen. So, you are saying that in 2023, monogamy is definitely realistic expectation from a woman. I most certainly am saying that. Bam. <sighs> Get in there, brother. I want to hear your opinion. I'm I waiting on you, hear sir. His opinion too. I want to hear up. her opinion. Take off. Uh, yeah. You know nah, so speaking I, of I, I would love to hear yours. yours. I would love to hear yours. I, I think it's a very. It's hard to. For me personally, I feel go. that there's 8 billion people in the world, and it is very hard to just be happy with one person mm. me personally unless okay. you find someone that is completely com like you know fulfilling everything you need mm. but it doesn't mean like you know sexually or romantically i mean there's different people for different needs so she that you have in your life but okay. i feel like that's fair however why jump into a committed relationship where you're saying you're doing exactly that when but, it's kept well, you can be in a relationship with a person and I don't have say a committed a, relationship, like the traditional relationship where you oh, believe in I open love relationships. You, you I love me, I don't. Okay. I love you. I, it's not that I don't believe in them. It's just not for me. Okay. So it's like I love you. You love me. We doing this. We together. We're committing to each other. Like y'all sit down and y'all have that conversation. Then you go against what the fuck you said. Now we gonna point out something that Nietzsche said out. We are not talking. We are just talking. I no, didn't say you nothing. Rubbing your hands I and shit. I didn't, I didn't, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't say we nothing. We all came in the office. No, so we don't God. know what y'all was talking about. Whoa. So we gotta get everybody a form <laughs> into that because we don't know what that specific conversation was. Brother, cook up. Uh, Brother Nietzsche, let me hear what you got on your cap right now. Let me let me hear what the people the people want to know. Speak How do you people. feel? Is monogamy something that is realistic for a man? Uh, expectation wise in 2023 right now this is my take on monogamy in 2023 okay monogamy was introduced to the black man by the white man for economic reasons okay uh if we want to date all the way back to africa we were polygamous okay and all kings had multiple wives okay and multiple concubines okay and a lot of these women want a king well, if you want a king, queen, then you understand that this king may have multiple because the idea of monogamy is outdated. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Hold on. So what I'm saying is, the fact of the matter is, if you want a man with more, you're going to have to give him more. If I'm giving you above average protection, if I'm giving you above average provisions, if you want to go on vacation four and five times a year, well, then quite frankly, Queen, you're going to have to go with four or five women. Go get in there. Okay, buddy. because I'm not sitting here and being a stepdaddy to kids, and I'm over here pouring into my woman, and I'm over here empowering my woman, and I'm doing above and beyond more than a damn daddy did. Mm. And if I want to play a little bit on Tuesday, she telling me I'm a bad person That's because of that. Yeah. Because guess what? I wasn't a bad person when I was paying them bills. Ooh. I wasn't a bad person when I sent that kid to college. Ooh. And I wasn't a bad person when I bought her a business. Ooh. So you know what? A lot of women like to take the pros of a man, and they do not want to accept the cons and quite frankly that's not the way life works baby get in there if baby. i'm a vet if i tell you that i'm it's a story of the honeybee mm. if i tell you i'm a honeybee mm. and the honeybee's main choice in life is to do what make honey okay i want the honey it's sweet but here the queen bee says oh i don't want this honeybee to make honey 
Mm. Well, that's the way God created me. He created me a honeybee. And I think women think that we have a choice with the things. I mean, does the honeybee have a choice if it wants to make honey? That's what it was born to do. That's the life. And the man's, and the man's <laughs> chief instinct in life is to procreate and eat. So you're telling me to go against what I was created to do? No, ma'am. Go pay bills. Now, listen. No, you just said that I agree with him. Now, this is how that works. There's, there is not one, one man in this world. You have all different type of men. So his perspective is his perspective. I my perspective it. is my no, she perspective. Don't. I respect it. But don't I do but that, don't but you can't get yeah, cause she she that. like, but you just said, yes, I did say I could I'm be with tell one you woman my with no problem. For everything he's talking about. Oof. Go ahead, ma'am. I'm gonna tell you my qualm. What's the, what's that about? The problem with that whole scenario is the simple fact that you enter into a relationship knowing damn well you had no intentions on being faithful why get into the relationship what? his response was you're making us lie to y'all because Pop your stuff. y'all are gonna leave if we keep it real with y'all mm. my qualms with that what is number qualms one mean? number one my problem with let that her cook, let her cook <laughs> my problem with that number one i don't like no motherfucking liar that's number one. Any nigga that I'm dealing with should be to him to be out here lying to any motherfucking body about anything. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah, you yeah. keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. That's number one. Number two. Cook queen. Because when you keeping it real, you like bitches. That's a big bet. Do your fucking thing. My problem is the selfishness, mm. the lack of respect. Mm. Because at the end of the fucking day, you like bitches do your fucking thing. Keep it real. Because at the end of the day, fuck what he talking about mm. as far as the natural, all that. Yeah, 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 the yeah, naturalness yeah. of 2023, the reality of 2023. Yeah. The reality, mm -hmm. bro. Syphilis is a thing. Gonorrhea is a thing. AIDS is a thing. General herpes, that shit going on in the gym. Fuck everything y'all saying. That doesn't negate the fact that you are lying. That is a lack of character. The things I look in a nigga, look for in a nigga's character. But we just established that women cheat more than men. So Man, no, we ain't established shit. That's we just established that the women but cheat more is, than men. That's neither here nor there. That's what we just that's established. She just there. said that. I it was Sammy said that. We don't have to be in but, that relationship. You that said relevant? that you agree with is what she relevant? said. Is that so relevant? So I don't get when you is say that relevant? it is relevant how? because women. How? Based on what I'm saying, how is that relevant? Okay, I'm going to let you finish, Queen. Go ahead, continue. No, I'm saying, based on what I'm saying, how is what you're saying? It's Can not, I interject? It, it, to me, yes. go ahead. The question, the question, the original question was, is monogamy a realistic expectation yes. in Correct. 2023, yes. right? And it just depends on who these people are, who the man is and who the woman is. That's when it comes down to that. And even what we was talking about off camera, that needs to be discussed beforehand. The way that you're, what you're talking about is a getting into a relationship lying. with a man that starts lying. Yeah. yeah you lying but, but, but monogamy and lying is two different things. Ooh. So polygamy, are you with that? If Ooh. he presents that up front? Here's my thing. Fuck no. But that's my prerogative. So we that's don't cool. lie. She don't make no sense. No, 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 no. We're cool. individuals. You're that's individual. Cool. You look at shit how you look at shit. Correct. He got his perspective. Correct. He got his. Correct. I reserve that right. That's my prerogative. Mm. You do? I am an individual. That's me. I don't Correct. want to share my nigga. Period. That's fair. Right, Bobby Brown. With that being said. Yes. With that being said, so you're you fucking with my heart, my mind, my emotions. You're not putting me at my peak performance. And what the fuck are you good for? Why are you in my life if you got me down bad? You, uh, fuck protection. You talking about I'm protecting your pen all these bitches. Nigga, you ain't protecting my heart. You got wow. me trying every fucking day. You got me sad, wondering where you the fuck at. You got mm. bitches in my DMs telling me they fucking you, mm. telling me I'm stupid. Mm. I'm all types of shit. And you telling me because you pay bills, my nigga. Mm. You get to do this shit and I get to, I need to shut the fuck have up. Have you ever about cheated it. before? No. We're in the no, have you ever I, cheated on me? I don't before? cheat on my nigga. You like, never I cheated when I was younger. Okay, when I was like okay, 16. okay, okay. Yeah, like yeah, when yeah, you were 16. When I was 16, I cheated. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, so, I cheated. So okay. I, I like when I, I was 16. However, cook, baby. However, make cook. it right. Yeah, yeah, however, yeah, yeah. Make it right. I ain't making shit right. I'm just saying. Because she sound like she's gonna say, however, I 
I'm just trying to figure her perspective saying, a little bit. Like, but what you're saying, whatever point you're trying to make, is still it's irrelevant. Still irrelevant. Okay. Oh, it really yeah. is. I get it. Because oh. at the end of the day, we sit here grown as hell, and the topic is 2023, and if monogamy is a fair expectation in a relationship. No, I heard how woman. passionate she was is, about it, so I just question if you had a cheater about before. Me fucking with you, you fucking with me, I'm loving you, and we all in it so much that we committing to each other, and you have no intentions of doing it. Quit fucking playing with my time. Quit playing with my emotions. Fire. You're putting me in a bad space and you talking about you love me? Mm. Just don't do it. Okay. Keep it real. Go the fuck on to somebody that's with that shit. There's too many women out here, bad as hell, got money, could do what the fuck I could do. Yeah, I got great pussy. I got great hit, all that great shit, right? But so do 20 million other bitches. That's a good point. Mm. That's we a great point. We can be friends. Mm. You That's can a great keep it point. real. The only difference is we're not fucking. But listen here, when we're together and you fucking around on me, we're not fucking anyway because I don't fucking like you. You always got me in my fucking feelings, crying, yelling, we arguing. You leaving out to go find another next bitch to fake, make you feel like Superman. So we ain't fucking anyway. So what is it that you're holding on to besides making my life miserable? That's crazy. Put his name on it. Talk about that nigga. No, right no, 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 no. <laughs> put his name on it. No that. free promo. He did something. No I free promo. This. He I did some shit. Us, no. And here's my thing. Like, it comes down to a lack of self-discipline, number one. Okay. And it comes down just to some anything ass shit and a lack of disrespect. Because like I said, you're playing with my body. You're playing with my time. You're playing with my emotions. I'm trying to be on the greater shit. You got me and my motherfucking feelings in a box because you're out here doing me all types of fucked up when you told me it was us. I keep hearing you say that you playing with my mind and my body and you, you keep me. Mind. Okay, but ain't you supposed to be on point anyway? In That's life? my fucking point. So the only, uh, the only thing this nigga is getting from these other women, right? A man that's cheating is vagina. That's all he and wants. And what head? That's all he wants. No, 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 no. That's not the case. He wants it from multiple people. Okay. Here, listen here. I worship the ground my nigga walk on. Ooh. I don't desire to be with no bitch ass nigga. Okay. I don't. I don't want to be with no nigga that I have to dominate with, that I got to put my guard up with. I want to love. I want to love freely, wholly, and vulnerably. And okay. if I can't do that with you, if I'm not, when you in a space, when you're a woman of my caliber, you got going on what I got going on, you make it th six figures like I am. Mm -hmm. I want a man that is manly enough and masculine enough to allow me. No, I ain't even going to say all of just that. I've been through a lot. Mm -hmm. So let's put that out there first. So I have my scars. I'm already walking in like this. You feel what I'm saying? I'll, I'll get the brunt into that too because now oh you a man you dominant you doing this well I don't want no woman but no but you can't carry your past to the next true. new person that you meet so I if you meet yeah. I and I mean however, that most respectfully however, hold up, most pause respectfully out. pause real, hear me out real quick a dear friend of mine his name's Leon Forey from Pittsburgh very known shout very out Leon yeah shout out Leon great, great dude <laughs> he, he recently posted some content where he was saying how Alpha woman and, and, and dominant woman, he feels like they can they they can definitely open up and be the softer version of themselves mm -hmm. in the presence of the correct man that gives that energy. And it happens naturally. It's not something you gotta pull out of a nigga. It's not something you gotta convince them to do. It's not something you gotta persuade them to do. It just happens and real recognize real. Every time I sit down with that man, I can take off all my armor. And this is a true, genuine friend of mine. Like, I can talk to him. So why you and ain't feel with him? Totally self because that's not what it is. He's a genuine friend of mine. When I say I mean, that, if he's such I mean that. And if niggas I'm not being, approach things I'm not being like that, funny. No, I'm just asking something. Here, aside from that, because if you were Leon, he's a friend of the person that I if, used to date. If 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 he's a also. great person and no, a nice that's guy, not, that's irrelevant. I'm telling you why. <laughs> Everything <laughs> is irrelevant. <laughs> that's your favorite word tonight. He's friends with the person that I used to date with as well. Okay. So that's just a, a no go for me. I don't do shit like that. Okay. However, like I said, he's a genuine friend of mine. Okay. But okay. when I sit and I talk, and he's a man of intellect, a man of intention. You feel me? He moves intentionally, and I know other men who are like that as well. It's not impossible. At the end of the day, it is a decision. And if you are deciding to be in a relationship with a woman, and you're saying that you're committed. 
you're 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 opening up that can of worms. You don't even gotta do that. Mm. Most niggas can really keep it real and be all right. The worst thing that can happen is you're not fucking me. You got the twenty million so the other bitches. So my you question, fucking, so, so my, who cares? So my question to you is, so Snow Safina, is if this man is honest with you day one and tells you, hey, I am not monogamous. Does he have a chance of dealing with you? The answer is no. That is I'm my, triggered. That is my point. Okay, my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn. My turn, my turn. You see, this is what I'm talking about. These women want a man. These women want a man to sit down and be honest with them. They use, they weaponize our honesty. So you mean to tell me that I'm going to be honest with you and tell you, hey, I'm a vampire, but I need to go drink blood on Tuesday, and you're going to tell me I'm going to leave you? So what are you going to do? Leave me for another man that's going to lie to you, impregnate you, and then you want to come back here afterwards after you realize the fact that these men are all vampires? Empires? No, ma'am. You are asking me to lie to you. Because if you cannot accept the truth that I give you, I can only give you the truth that you'll accept, which is, oh, I'm going to be monogamous, baby. It's going to be me and you. Because the truth isn't what you want, therefore, I have to lie. Woo! Shit, I'm I'll let you talk for five minutes straight, Queen. It's my turn. What I'm saying, if I'm being honest with you, do not mock, don't do not weaponize my truth. The fact of the matter is that Joe blow up the street gonna tell you whatever he wants to because he wanna get that cat and shoot up the club and give you a baby. I'm I'm at least real enough and masculine enough and manly enough and have self-control enough to tell you the truth and you can't handle it and you walk out that door. I should have lied to your black ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me pull your mic back up. Go ahead. <laughs> now listen. Now listen. That's what I'm saying. I think a lot of women sometimes they have a so fantasy sad. idea of what you know the type of nigga that they looking for and the reality that they living in. That fantasy. Somebody man. name me one six figure nigga that don't cheat. Don't somebody, somebody name me one six figure nigga that's All monogamous. That's okay. what you say you want. Name one. What does unlazy mean? Name one. Can he work at McDonald's? Can anybody name oh, one? Go to McDonald's and shit. I'm saying. Anybody name McDonald's one? Okay, Burger King. Okay, okay, Burger King. A mechanic. A mechanic. It, okay, he could be a mechanic. It's a fairy tale. So you would marry a mechanic? Same motherfuckers is gonna have a problem with the fact that they don't make enough. Not me. I'm cool. They cool as long as they can take I care of their hair. I think that man, that, girl, that man can't afford your wig on your head, man. He can't afford think. the hair on so, your head. I you expensive. Like you are beautiful. You expensive. She lying. She lying you right now. She not, oh, come on. She not gonna, gonna take. You ain't gonna take no broke ass mechanic because you said that. You saying that. So we take it. We, we said a good wholesome man. No Why you don't think wholesome men work at McDonald's? We can go to Applebee's no two for twenty. Nigga. That's what I said. I didn't say shit about McDonald's. You but. said you would take a man that doesn't make six figures. I correct? I would. I have. Like, what are y'all talking about? So that's what I'm saying. What's wrong with a man that works at McDonald's? Why the fuck is McDonald's so important to you? Okay, she said mechanic. Okay, yeah, even mechanic. Let's do mechanic. Okay, let's say mechanic, Frank. Thank you, okay, sir. Okay, but even a mechanic. So, okay, so you would be cool being I'm with a man that's making 35000 a year. Sammy, talk into the mic and tell him. <laughs> Sammy, hold on. Let's Sammy say. Sam you said a man that's making $50,000 a year? Whatever you want it to be like. So you're 30, saying. Whatever a, a mechanic makes. 30000 Okay, like why do y'all try to? Money is not everything to everybody. It's just, it's so, why are you getting upset about I it make then? Six figures. I don't need a nigga's money. So, the shit that do you have a man now? For me, if he's not doing, he gotta go. Do you have a man now? So, like he said, if he feel like he gotta lie to me because I don't wanna deal with that, that's bullshit. Because no. I reserve you won't the accept right the truth. to not deal with that. <laughs> you won't no. accept my Can truth. I please? No, but the truth is, you're fucking with bitches that probably got gonorrhea. I'm, I'm cheating safe. Hey, no, that's bullshit. I'm, do, I'm that's using condoms. I'm that's using. Bullshit. I'm using Even protection. If you wearing a condom, that shit is slipping out. I'm like using the protection. Y'all are exchanging bodily sit? fluids. Period. There. Or move that. <laughs> Which one you talking about? Give her a bob drop. Hey, you want to move? You want to move that? That one in the. Tell me where the. Oh, it's one more. Is, okay, my bad. Respectfully, she could sit right here on this joint right here. 
We got yeah, a new I'm panelist that just checked in. We, yeah, I'm we give got her a more panelists on panelists. Snow, we gonna, gonna, Snow, gonna, gonna let you elaborate. You're doing a great job. We love you. Are doing such a great job, Snow. Do not take none of this no type of way. You good? Cause she's over here steaming. I see the smoke coming off the top of her motherfucking <laughs> scalp. I'm just trying to let her know, baby. You're doing a great job. You are doing good. You know what I'm talking about? You great. Yeah, she got more. You no, know, you know what I'm saying? See, the, no, 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 no. I, we just. Okay, yeah, the lady with the blue hair in the first one. Yeah, I'm Nina. Nina. That's Tell him your Insta. At slick ass Nina. S L I C C. Okay. Okay. Ass Nina. Give give this give. What's your name, beautiful? Uh, my name is Brittany. That one. All right, my name is Brittany. I am. Talk to the I side of the mic right there. Where? To the side of it. Right here. There you go. Okay, okay. okay. And um, you can find me at I am Brittany H. There you go. Okay, now listen. We were just talking about monogamy. Y'all missed a nice little, nice little a small segment. debate. <laughs> it's okay. Listen. It's okay. This had a thing. Hold on now. What type of thing did you have, Nina? You said you had a thing. <laughs> we're, we're, Describe your thing. <laughs> we're going to move on. Uh, I'm, I'm going to read some comments, man. Make sure y'all go hit the like button. Hold on, hold on. Let's go ahead and hit the like button right here, man. I'm going to do some comments reading. Uh, shouts out all the Super Chats. Uh, shouts out Michael Jordan. He says, Jay-Z. Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce. Beyonce's and don't a billionaire. You, hey, you know what? That has not been proven. Come on, Let's man. not do a lot of speculation <laughs> on this podcast. Salute to Jay-Z. Salute yeah. to the Queen B. Yeah, we, let's not do that. We're not going to do that today. What? That's too much She's speculation. E, what to do, my brother? What they do, my brother? All right. Um, shouts out. I'm going to read some comments, man. Y'all go ahead and hit the like button. New antique game and says shouts out to Crank Lucas. He's so underrated. Shouts out to Crank. You got fans in the in the chat, brother. Come they on, love man. you in the community, sir. Love y'all. Thank y'all. Uh, shouts out to CJ. He just laughing. Gamers Crypto Club. <laughs> what Stand do you, the man. What do you bring to the table to make a man want you and only you? That's a good question. Oh man. Uh, shouts out uh, Miguel Hernandez. Shouts. Out, he says he wants a friend or a friend of hers. <laughs> Hey, hey, which one? Gonna, so you want one of snow friends? I think, or you I think, want who I friends? Think he wants snow. I think he wants snow. Want snow, no snow uh, friends. Shouts fight. out Rogue Rebel. Uh, <laughs> shouts out OG OGG Blue Haze. What's up, my brother? Hey man, y'all go ahead and mash the like button. It's free to like the video, man. It's free to like the video. We over here cooking. Got some beautiful guy, beautiful women in here, and uh, some handsome fellas. Respectfully, respectfully, respectfully. You know what I'm talking about. All right, so uh, we, we're, we're going to the next topic of this. New topic. What are we talking about? Uh, Gabriel Union was recently in the news. Again. <laughs> for saying that she felt it was okay that she cheated on her ex-husband okay. because she paid majority of the bills before uh, she buried Dwayne Wade. Okay. Ladies, question. Can you be faithful and submissive to a man that does not pay the bills. No. Hold on. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> no, you can't. Because if I'm doing it, i you know. Talking to the mic. That's better? Yes, ma'am. That's good. There you go. Y'all can hear me. Okay. Get in now. <laughs> so, yes, I don't think that um, I could be submissive to no man because, I mean, the, if I'm paying all the bills because I'm doing all of this by myself. Well, not by myself, but... He might help with other things, but let me do that. They're like, no, I can't do that. I need somebody to be like, baby, listen, you do this and do that. Like, tell me what to do. That's what I like. like you take care of it, be the man, and I'll be able to sit back. But, but see, if I, I feel like that's leave, an unfair question then. Because that's, that's more so That's more so just. Yeah, hey, you drinking on, that's, brother? That's, that's that's cool. Like, that's fine. I mean, he just said, you can you me? be with a man? That's that, what I'm saying. Like, that's. That's, you don't even put yourself in that situation if you mm. feel like you can't be with a nigga that's not taking care of the bills. You feel what I'm saying? So of it's not course. being being faithful is a choice. You feel me? You're, you you say that oh, being I don't want to be with no broke ass nigga. Period. <laughs> that's not the right. same. That's like you what it sounds be like, Nina. You're not even going to entertain that because that's be not faithful, your thing. But are you going to be happy in exactly. that and submissive? And I would not. I know. Exactly. Okay, I wouldn't. I can't speak for everybody else because some people do it. I know plenty of women exactly. that will take care of a man because 
that's what they like to do, and that makes them feel good about Whatever. themselves. But I have children. Yeah, I don't. Big <laughs> facts. <laughs> All women get cheated mm-hmm. on. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's not true, and you need to stop saying that out in public. You need to stop saying that out in public. Nina, it is a bunch of men, million of men that have one woman, and they're with their wife, their woman, their girlfriend, and they are happy, they, they did and not that's a fact. They and they did not tell you. They're going to take bunch. it to the grave. Say it again. <laughs> they're going to take it to the grave. Don't do that. Don't do that. You okay. can't paint that narrative that all men cheat. That's not fair. That's like saying all but women is hoes. No, he just said that he just said name a six figure man that is sink that is uh no, monogamous. He said, a, he said it's against a man's what? nature. And you agree. Right. No, okay, I said that mean? look, I and said what? that personally a man can't no. They do. That's not true. What you say? Men want a million women. Oh my god. Women want a million women. Oh my god, let her no, say it again. I don't like bitches. Not enough dick to pass around. For okay. Women. Let her say it again. I mean, but it's more women than men, and then most of them are already in a relationship or they're stuck because and they cheating. feel like exactly <laughs> and cheating. Keep but they real. stuck in it because they're stuck. Girl. Girl. Stop. I don't want to be in no comfortable the situation. Brittany H, what you think? Can you be submissive? Give her the, give Brittany H the mic right there. Can, Talking to the can, side. Can of it you now. be submissive to a man if you're paying all the bills? No, absolutely not. My man need to take lead on everything. Ooh. So, I'm I'm doing everything by myself right now. So, and I'm single. She so what I so what I look <laughs> like? <laughs> get into a relationship with a man, and it's still all on me. So what what is this partnership? For? So why do men do it every day? Why do these niggas pick up these women with not a goddamn thing to their name, but they fine ass and they pretty eyes that probably ain't even the same color they' supposed to be. They ain't even that same color. And he moves her in, he picks her up, and y'all say, "Oh yeah, that's good, girl. You met you a nice man, and you met you one, and da 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 da." But when y'all talk about it, it's like, nah. So I don't understand the double standard. Why don't y'all feel like y'all could pick up some broke ass nigga like a nigga pick up that's some broke ass cheat. female? That's why the we fuck cheat. we talking about, brother? They talking this conventional shit. I'm confused. I'm confused. Why we what I'm trying to figure out is this. Y'all talking about y'all want a, uh, a man that um, brings all of this and da, 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 da. How many men do you know? And it's a friend you got, you don't got to say her name. That a bitch ain't got nothing going on for her motherfucking self. And this nigga, and this nigga's getting a, getting a bag, a real check, moving and grooving in the community, and he pick her broke ass up and move her midtown in his big ass goddamn condo, and she's living there rent free, bills free. Y'all don't see anything wrong with that. I mean, I'm a different type of woman, so truth be told, if you want a nigga to invest in you, you need to be the asset. Amen. Amen. Hold on, Do you really want a man to really be something? That's a good answer. Wrap it to the mic. Wrap it to the mic. Talking to the mic, Brittany. Yeah. Mic, Brittany. Okay, Brittany. Okay, Brittany. You actually make sense right Fucking now. with you. You need to be an asset. Now, why dudes choose to pick up the broke bitches, the bum bitches? I don't know. Maybe he got some type of complex going on. They pussy better. Pussy better? Whoa! They were, whoa, did you drop a bomb on the pussy hey, was better, sir? What, hey, what does that mean? Hey, man, you ain't had no pussy till you had a bitch pussy that don't got nowhere to stay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, talk I'm sorry. to him. I'm sorry. Talk to okay, him, I'm sir. Sure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Talk I'm sorry. to him, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What are we doing? I'm triggered. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. Salute, D. Jizzle. My little twin out on all platforms. Yeah. You did. Do that answer your question? Say it again, man. Do that answer your question? I'm sorry. I missed it. Say it one more time, please. Respectfully. I'm just saying, man, we'll pick up women who don't got shit going on. You may have a complex. Or it's just easy to do. So why do you think men do it more than women in your perspective? Because they're able to. Position to do so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you don't think I that you're able, you're able to right now? You're easier. able to right now. No. Yes, you are. You choose not to, if but I you're build, able. If I build a man up, it's gonna be my little brother that's eighteen. Ma'am. Ooh. Period. Ma'am. No. I'm saying you're able to right now. You okay. won't, but you're able okay, to. So it comes a time. I'm thirty years old. Okay. So at this age, whatever you've been working on, it's your show. It's not my fault if a man hasn't been working on shit in his okay. life. Mm-hmm. He ain't got. But and this girl up. hasn't been hey, working man. on nothing but her ass and her eyeliners and her lashes. So what? Why she? What makes it better when she get y'all? I get. I hear what you're saying. I hear. I hear. I hear, I hear what you're saying. I hear exactly what you're saying. The only thing I'm trying to understand is why do women feel 
that is more acceptive or accepted and understanding for a woman that has nothing to offer to be with a six figure man that they talking about. Look at the history but a six of human figure beings, woman though. It's so Back wrong. in the day, we used to take care of the home, and the man brought home shit. Like, so we're not the ones who's out of character. Look at the history. Now women are having to take it upon themselves and get out here and make the fucking bread themselves. So now women are wearing the fucking drawers because men are impregnating them, leaving, fucking this bitch, this bitch, making more kids. So it made us have to stand up and take on a fucking life. But men don't want to have that conversation. Ooh. You know what I feel like, Snow, respectfully. You, like? you need to put a name on that nigga who did this bullshit <laughs> to you because I hate that nigga because he fucking it never up happened every nigga to me. that you meet right now because he fucked it up, and it's not our fault that, personally that never Blow happened or to Tom, you. Dick, and Harry did the bullshit. It ain't our fault, Snow. We don't know the nigga. We wasn't you. there when he did it. I Why are you me. holding us accountable? I hear you, with this but that never happened to me. On? I'm sitting here talking about she what's said going that on she's out trauma. here. She said that no, earlier. She's been through some Why things. I know other women that don't been through shit like that? Why we got all this other shit from our experience? It's not our experience. It's just some real Rapping shit. It's, it's what you've been with, but how long do you hold on to that real Rapping shit? To the logo. What, what, how long do you as hold long on to that keep real on shit? And I met a bitch one day. She did some weird ass shit. I ain't gonna talk whatever she did. So now what? All of y'all is weird because this one bitch did. Like, when do you get over it? And like, but what are we doing? Y'all niggas just sat here and said all niggas is the same. And y'all do the I same shit. I didn't say that, ma'am. Respectfully. What? You disagree with his no, whole perspective. No, and that's what he I said. I told you that a man is capable of having one woman and being happy. Yeah, he's capable because he life is about decisions. Capable of but that. do y'all decide very to do that capable. shit? Nina, you can teach a bear. You know what? I don't you can like teach your a bear low the perspective of a man. Hold that's, on. That's wrong. You can teach you a bear. Hold on, sir. Hold on. Hold on. You can teach a bear to bounce a basketball. Okay. You can teach a dog how to skate. Okay. You can teach a cat how to bark. Can't teach you a can bitch teach, how to listen. You can, teach, you can teach a parrot how to talk. Okay. You can teach a man not to fuck. Mm. You can teach that, but that's not natural. Okay, that's just not natural. Him, I don't think we, they possess the tools. Some of these women don't the possess the tools. But the same thing. But the same. God told us these yeah, things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you. No, no, queen, no, queen. It's called instincts. A dog barks because that's what it feels it's supposed to do. Then why Preach. be out here capping uh, uh, about that? Just okay, do that. hold on, Queen. Then a dog be barks because I don't uh, want to uh, do with it. Uh, respectfully, it doesn't matter what you want all the time. It does. It's not all about you. It's all yeah. about y'all. Yeah. See, that's the problem. It's all about y'all. I pay the bills around here. Yeah. I pay my own uh, fucking bills. I take care of the kids around here. Yeah. I protect this house. Yeah. If somebody busts through the door at night, yeah. who getting up? Yeah. It ain't going to be you. Yeah. It's hey, gonna be me out there right, right, with the nine up, millimeter so dick swinging. So I, I gotta say so too. Have it's have not about all what you want. Cause you know what? I wish I could have a woman to listen. I wish I had a woman that wouldn't over talk me. And I wish woman, I had a woman that was submissive. I wish I had a woman to treat me with respect. Ooh. I wish I had a woman to treat me and talk to me like a man. Ooh. But guess what? I didn't get that. So what make you think you about to check all the boxes on your list and you only check half on mine? And see, that's the problem. That's the problem. I'm oh. tripping. That's the problem. A whole bunch of sugar and motherfuckers. That's a that box on mine. Wounds and scars from past things, and now that's why you think the way you think. I got my scars, you got your scars. So the the point, the fact, the fact that we're even putting that shit together is preposterous in its own right. This is great content. Cause you Beautiful. got terrible <laughs> shit that you went through that got you thinking irrational. I got shit that I'm going through that got me coming in like it's just all bad for business. Like, cause at the end of the day, it's about getting ahead. And building legacies. Look at these other races. Black people are the only fucking race that's so fucking divided. All their kids growing up without their fucking fathers in the in the household. No fucking structure. The lack of just a whole bunch of dysfunctional ass shit. And mm. we write about it. We sing about it. We glorify it. And then you have all these other fucking races that are leveling the fuck up and creating legacies and creating shit to leave back to their kids. But we so fucking divided and at war with one another as far as the sex between black people. It's just fucking sad. It's sad. Cook queen. So when does it change? When do a nigga stand when you up listen, it and change, change When you shit? listen, just listen. And you know? it takes a very particular type. It takes yes, a very cook. particular type of nigga clearly Come on, to man. avoid some pussy that ain't even his. That, that ain't even like.
Now you cooking, baby! She is serious. <laughs> Because this is really the mentality that we're up against. We y'all already, we already outnumber the fuck out of y'all. So it's slim pickings. Then it's like on top of that, the good motherfuckers so cowardly that got some shit going on for themselves. They think that they could do whatever the fuck to you. So it's just like we damned if we do, damned if we don't. Period. So then y'all get mad when a motherfucker come out like, oh, like motherfucker, I'm tired. Like fuck is you talking about? Like I'm tired of getting dragged through the mud. I got all these stretches. How the fuck am I supposed to be soft Shots and out, submissive? And <laughs> you don't even give a fuck about that shit. So you're Go basically saying that the world is not fair because the honeybee <laughs> no. refuses the not honey to make honey. The honeybee refuses to grow the fuck up. Period. That, that, that ugly and focus on something besides his dick. The honeybee should not make the honey. The honeybee, fuck mm. the honeybee. Like the honeybee go. should not make we need honey. Grown ass men. Snow wants the honeybee. I don't even want that shit no more. I just want to niggas dig to up keep dirt. Real, like. <laughs> <laughs> like, just keep it I real. Respect like. it. I respect it. I respect it. I respect it. Just keep it real. All right. Like. So, Snow, can you, you, do you think that you could be submissive and faithful to a man that uh, had, had to have you pay all the bills? That had to have what? Do you, can you be submissive and faithful to a man that, that didn't pay the bills? Niji, it's like you're purposely. No, no. It's like you're purposely. That's a hard pass. Now, listen, That's a hard pass. Hear me out, cause I had been answered. That silence was the louder than anything you're gonna say. Anything you're gonna say is not as loud as that silence. And I don't mean to cut you off, but that was that that silence was very telling. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like you purposely trying to answer questions. I just asked her the same like, question. I know. Okay, but you're I just asking, asking. That's like the wrong question if we're trying to be like, I mean, effective here. So basically, you're done. Yeah, hurting. so it's like, in the spirit of that, do you know what the fuck come with a nigga that don't got more than a woman? All the shit you got, I've done it. Mm. So can I do it? Yes, I've done it. And I was faithful as fuck. And Amen. you know what? I paid for it. That's what happened. So what happened? I paid for it. That nigga went and found somebody that made him feel like a man. Ooh. That, that, that ugly so it, the short answer is no I've been through it, I did it It didn't work, I ain't like how it made me feel I didn't get rewarded for it, I paid for it So fuck no I don't want to deal with no nigga's broken ego Because he don't got what the fuck I got exactly. Period I'm cool Like, How the fuck Bro, you Sammy, coming Sammy, in with, Sammy, with Sammy, the go lesser ahead, of shit And I'm Sammy, the one paying for it Let's like, let me get the floor Go ahead, go ahead Sammy, go ahead, Sammy. Talk okay. the mic into the logo, go ahead Okay, can you hear me? Right. Yes ma'am Okay, so a second ago you said You make six figures Okay. Yeah. So dealing with a man who does not have money Is not a problem Or I makes less than you I ain't less than you Yes we can Yes we can Hold on, let 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 Sammy cook Let Sammy cook All I need is a nigga with ambition There's a difference Okay. If a nigga's making less than me but he got ambition and he's not no lazy motherfucker. I swear to God, there's this master mechanic that work at my job. Like, oh, he, de he definitely makes considerably less than me. Mm. I know that for a fact. Yeah. But. But. You give him, so you give him some time. He's fine as hell and oh. sexy as hell when he get up under that fucking truck. Okay, but can she finish her question, though? About? Yeah, He's not no lazy motherfucker. Okay. He got a fucking full-time job to keep his ass busy. And when the fuck he get home, he, I'm worshiping the ground that he walks Hold on, on. wait a minute. Are you single, man? That's neither here or there. <laughs> I'm worshiping the fucking ground he walks on. Because that nigga don't care about what the fuck I'm making. He don't care about what I'm bringing to the table. He cares about feeling like a fucking man, and that shit matters to me. But at the end of the fucking day, if a nigga's not put like Give letting me out. allow allowing me to be in a space where I'm allowed to be vulnerable and I'm allowed to you know freely love him without feeling like he's gonna break the fuck out of me at any given moment, like that that's just not how it goes. Can you allow her to finish her question, please? Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's cool. ahead, she was ahead. asking. She was asking the question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, it would just seem like it kind of flip flopped a little bit because we were talking about the mechanic. Or something about making making less money if he was a mechanic or something like that. So if he was anything, so you can. Yes, so. yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I can. I have, but Ooh. I paid for it. That's what I'm telling y'all. Like, so would you do it again with a different person? <laughs> if it was the right motherfucker, yes, I would. I'm a sucker for love, though. Everybody's different. Everybody's fucking different. I value loyalty i value my nigga being able to stand in a room and knowing that no other fucking nigga didn't touch me like come on man like y'all getting away from shit yeah, that, that ugly <laughs> cook
I could be wrong though. Shit, I've been wrong. Well, I think the thing is that you gotta understand men and women are looking for two different things. Why? Then why even? Connect? Because we're two different people. We then play two different roles. If y'all ain't even, See, that here's the thing. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Time out, time out, T Mark. Time out, time out, time out. Time out, time out, time out, time out. I'm not finished my point. I do this every night. I have these conversations and I'm very big on letting people get their point out. You think we could have this conversation 100 years ago? In 1923, when y'all wasn't making as much as y'all is now, Big Mama would stay her ass home and whether Pop Pop was cheating or whatever the case may be, y'all just dealt with it. Now y'all have more things going on. So I understand the mindset. I even agree with a lot of what you're saying. And I even said before, like, it needs to be a conversation up front. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Okay, cool. Niggas lie. Bitches lie, too. So, but... but if he tell the truth, it's, let me let me have that option. Don't exactly. take it from me exactly. and come over here lying exactly. to me, talking about oh yeah, oh I fuck with you. But if Make you're if you're my point, what, 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 what my point is, if you're if you're making <laughs> if you're making this amount of money or you're in this position don't in life, everything about money. money. That's why it's, it's not monetary. Like that shit don't matter. Exactly, it don't be about the money. As I was saying, as I was saying, as I was saying, as I was saying, as I was saying. Go ahead. Because I'm about to get triggered at this motherfucker. <laughs> As I was saying, you're in a position where you're making the money that you're making and you're doing what you're doing. Cool. Nothing wrong with that. You said that you possibly could deal with a man making less and you possibly could submit to that man, right? But more than likely, you want a man making at least what you're making or more, right? I think most women would agree. Rick, I'm just saying, women in general. I'm just saying in general, right? Okay. Those men, they exercise their options. So now we got a whole world of now we hoes. <laughs> now we hoes and all of the kind so of stuff. So it's like, yeah, all right, you made your point, but it's catch twenty two. We all lose. You said it's irrelevant. And I'm saying <laughs> right. That's that's, that's basically irrelevant. what that was. That's, <laughs> that's I mean, that was a different much. way of saying it's irrelevant. No, it's all relevant. Pretty much. No, it's relevant. It, it, it should be. It's, but it's, it's not because y'all saying that y'all honeybees and vampires and shit, and and, 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 and what we want don't matter. What we want don't matter. Y'all said that. Y'all said that out of y'all mouth. It, what we want don't matter. That's what y'all said. But that's how society is today. Everything is about what a man wants, what you have to do to keep a man, what you need to do exactly. different, what you got to change about you and your life. What do men want? Y'all don't give a fuck. Yeah, exactly. That's what do men want? That's why do you even know what men want? Yeah, do you know what men want? Name three things Nigga, a man wants in a wife. You sit down and say it, and I bet you you get it from a good motherfucker. Like, no, hey. I know I'm asking you. What's three things that a man wants in a wife? I cook, you I clean, me. I shut the fuck no, up. No, I'm asking you what you <laughs> think. Hey, she's single listen, or not. I'm asking you. I can't even say if she's single or not, you know, say she's she's single or not at this from point. What, from my perspective, I have what done that every you know, fucking thing I mean, thing I'm I asking all of y'all. Like, what is what is something I that y'all... I cook, I clean, I shut the fuck okay. up. Cook, clean, shut the fuck up. Okay. But y'all forgetting the loud... Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. What'd you say again? Me? Yes. Peace? To feel appreciated and to be listened to. Mm. And to be allowed to cheat. Sammy didn't say that, Snow B. Right. When, when, when you edit this, make sure the camera that, is shaking when you Snow when you say that. that. <laughs> that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think, uh, Brittany? What, what, what do you say? I could be your friend. Yeah, same, same time with her. To be his peace. Let her talk. Let her talk. Go ahead, Queen. Peaceful. Yes. Um, to be appreciated. Okay. Submissive. Mm. Oh, let's not forget the nasty ass sex. Hey. Okay. okay. That part. Yeah. Like, that part. Now. now, my question is to ladies: What if his peace is a threesome? <laughs> Oh, you want to be I'm, peaceful then? I, I'm 36 years old. Amen, Queen. So Respectfully. I, I'm older. Thank you. In life, you got to be... I always say people be wanting to be fucking for real, but they're not fucking for real. Thank and you. The, the relationships that I've had, when there's multiple people, were the best relations I've... The, the best relationships that I've had. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ugly Talk it's to them, Sammy. Of, it's a lot Talk of to pressure. these young ladies, man. No, it's a lot of pressure being in a relationship. 
Okay, there's a lot to do in a relationship. Sometimes you don't feel like doing X, Y, Z. You have another person. I like females too, so it just works for me. It doesn't work for everybody. But so you saying it? So you saying in a relationship we need with, bench players? Hold on, but what I'm saying, any men that I deal with have always put me in positions to better me. Yeah, man. So I appreciate that, mm -hmm. and you know I don't mind. But that's not even just a benefit for him. Like I said, I like girls too. Dang. So I'm with him. Y'all should listen to Sammy. That's she dropping jewels normal. right I mean, now. I don't date normal. I date. And she, I think you know, she got a point that y'all like, should that's listen what you to. Get. Like, that's, you that's, that's how you get them, Sammy. That's how you get them. Face twenty four seven. But you want a man that's successful and he's busy. He's gonna be a busy man. But again, but I'm older. Again, I'm older. Well, you know it all. It all. It all starts to make sense about thirty-five when you realize so that. So uh, we're gonna be fifty years old having three <laughs> That's what we doing. Hell yeah! You want to be fifty? What? What? Why not? Why wouldn't we want? Why? Like, Why wouldn't we not want? Stingy with our niggas, like seriously. That's what we saying. We right ain't now. stingy with our money. <laughs> we ain't stingy. stingy. Hold on. Yeah. We ain't stingy with our money. Talk to him. We ain't stingy with our provisions. We ain't stingy with our protection. We ain't stingy with our knowledge. We ain't stingy with our. We ain't stingy with pouring into y'all. We ain't stingy with none of the stuff. Cause a man has a gear to give. A man has a gear to provide. We ain't stingy with our shit. But you want to be stingy with us? No deal. It don't make sense. I'm just saying, are, are you living out your rich nigga dream? Rich because nigga dream. Now I got a rich nigga oh, reality. My now bank account, my bank account ain't like, got yeah, nothing yeah, to do with my kind. dick. Yeah, I'm just Hold on, like, let her talk, let her talk, go I ahead. Know some, like one of my closest guy friends, I mean, when what he was broke mean? or down, up, whatever, he always had women. They'll do whatever he yeah. say he wanted to do. Now it's like he older, he about to be 35. Yeah. It's like, mm, is she down with three? So I'm okay. If not, it don't matter. He don't did it already. Because he need that engorge rejuvenation tea. His shit ain't popping the way it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Two to the engorge, two to the This will sponsor engorge rejuvenation tea. Hey, man, like, when do shit get old? That's what I'm saying. Like, when does, when does, when does. Your friends say, your I, I said, I respect that. Your friends that. say they having swinger parties at 50 and she feels like Thank that's you. the Facts. time. When does shit get old? When does. need when, to get the mic. I so like I, I say that, I say, I would say, mic. respectfully, I would say the same thing to you, Miss Brittany. When does, when does shit get old? When does over talking your man get old? When does disrespecting your man get old? When when no when sense. hold on hold on when does demeaning your man get no old? Never. When does discrediting your man and watering him down get old? It never seems to get old for women. So why it are you should. trying to tell me that I should get over some shit now? It no, it doesn't get old because guess what? A man can tell a woman it's several times, "Hey, please don't over talk me. Hey, please treat me with respect." And guess what? As soon as she get triggered, she that shit goes out the door. So now you want me to get? Oh, you need to grow up. No, they need to grow up. Sure. Yo, shit I'm get old too, but guess what? We deal with it. We I'm deal with it, place. and we still show up to work every day to protect and I'm provide for you. Place where the woman don't did her work, she don't did her healing, she is on her big days, grown woman things. She can listen. She receives information well. She speaks when she needs to be spoken to. She knows when it's not time to argue. Until okay? until she until okay. a man says something that she don't like. No, that's part of the healing. I think that's Everybody part of it. Thing that you don't like, you gotta you gotta know when it's the time to respond and when it's not. Mm. I ain't slide in real I ain't, Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, Just, look, Chet, I want to say this real quick and get out y'all way because I want to be real discreet about this. Yeah. I have one, two, three, four, five women in here. Yeah. If y'all real women, Y'all should understand this. Imagine 50, 50 niggas being in a field, right? You just got 50 niggas standing in the field. Out of 35 of them niggas, y'all damn near know what y'all dealing with if y'all didn't live this shit. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like she was talking about, dealt with it, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. It's 50 niggas in this field. At least 35, y'all know exactly what they probably about. The other 15 might give you something different. At the end of the day, when you choose to fuck with any one of these niggas, nine times out of 10, they all got them same qualities because we men. Men is the bottom line when it Species. comes to women. Y'all have to know what y'all dealing with. You get some good ones, you got some bad ones. Mm. You got some that's going to be halfway with you. You got some that's going to be a whole hundred. You got to decide what's good for you out of these niggas. Now, like y'all say, it's some good men, right? They damn near all taken. Mm. Some on taking advantage. Whatever it may be. No say no but for man. you and your life and what you got going on, hey. it's only a certain amount of niggas you get to choose from. You pick the one. Uh -huh. 
Because they're closest to what you want, right? You can either build him, not build him, grow together, whatever it is. This shit come down to picking somebody that you want to grow with. Mm. Whether they fucked up or not, you might be a little fucked up too. So y'all go through that phase together. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Get to that point to where, okay, this is just the type of, type of nigga who at least I know if I, if I give him two, three years, this shit going to turn out right. Don't expect nothing to be perfect. No woman is perfect. No man is perfect. That's what I'm deal with your shit how you deal with it. Pick what's good for you. And everything good. Now Memphis baby has spoken. Hold on. Thank you, sir. Okay. That part. Shots out DJ. The biggest. Shots out DJ. The biggest. Okay, so 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 let's 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 talk solutions, right? Let's talk solutions. Let's try to not be triggered. All right. So this 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 is the thing that I'm saying. If you're you're saying that you would not feel comfortable submitting to a man that doesn't take care of the protections. Hold on, baby. It's, huh? You okay? What you need? I'm oh, sorry. Marley needs something. Go ahead, baby. Here, watch, watch Baby Shark. Yeah, see, I'm handling my man business. Hold on, y'all. There you go. Okay, here you go. So um, you're saying that, a lot of you are saying that you wouldn't feel comfortable submitting with a man that doesn't take care of the finances. Respect. But then you turn around and say, the money don't matter. That's kind of a contradiction. Here nor there. I'm not trying to trigger anybody. So what I'm saying is, what is a man's incentive if he's done more in his life and been better in his life and been better to you and able to open up doors that you cannot open up for yourself? What is his incentive for doing more than, quote unquote, some broke ass baby daddy did? Because if you're going to fuck, suck, cook and clean the same way you did with your broke ass baby daddy and then you come to this man that is empowering you that is teaching you that is pouring into you and you're coming with the same thing well baby you trying to go to the damn Benz dealership with Nissan money it makes no sense so where does he get some leverage other the fact that he's bringing more to the table than Joe Blow is, or, or is it are we all should just get the same packages of shit go ahead Queen He's not going to get that what he got from my broke ass baby daddy because he not my broke ass baby daddy. He make me feel different. So I'm going to exert a different type of, um, what is it? That I'm, definitely. I'll be submissive. Of course, if he's doing all of that and making sure that, you know what I'm saying? We're good. I like people to talk. I like to talk. Mm -hmm. If I'm with somebody, I want to talk. I want to know like, Hey, are we good? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, Every like nigga, give me a chance to let you be yeah, fucking faithful. Yeah, like, like, give me know, a fucking chance. Talk like. to me. Let me know what's up because I'm oh very understanding. So, <laughs> I feel like if he come in there and he doing what he supposed to do, he giving it his all. Why not? Why not? And you can't get your all fucking twelve bitches. Like, period. okay, that. Too. At, but at what point in time is there a word that we haven't used today? When do we compromise? Is there is there is there any way that we can compromise? Can you bend a little and he bends a little and y'all meet in the middle? Or is it just because if we just have this definitive no, 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 I'm not accepting this point blank period and everything is lights on, lights off. Is there a compromise? Because it's going to because at, at the end of the day, we still haven't named one person that is on what these women claim that they're only accept. We haven't named Ain't nobody one. married on this panel. It's not even about panel. only except why well, can't Ain't nobody what if I compromise up here. on every single thing but this loyalty? What if that? What if I compromise? That's only one thing. Well, that I want to. I don't want to pay bills on. then. Then don't pay them. But you said you wouldn't date me if I didn't pay bills. No, you have to be a man. That's not being real. Exactly. Right? I'm being a man, right? So being unreal. a man might be that's multiple not, um, that's women. That's unrealistic. That's what I'm saying. That's unrealistic. You want to be you traditional when it's up. That's you, not go ahead. life. Go ahead. You want to be traditional when it's beneficial for it's you. It's not about being traditional. Okay, if you don't it's want me to have, you if you don't you want me to have, me. go ahead. And I love you. Okay. And we fucking rocking together, and it's me and you, and you lying. Those man. are your like, rules. You I'm not lying to you. I'm you gonna lie. come day one. It's but not you, me and you. But it's you, me you said Nikki, Trina, no, fucking see, Khadija. Okay. Like, I got you. I got you. I got you. So and the difference. Everybody, them bitches is fucking. The difference between and this is the thing that women have to understand about men. Men can have sex with a woman, and I don't even care. 
don't even know her name. It's not even a situation where we like this woman. We're trying to gain, deal with this woman. We're not trying to do anything with this woman but get a nut off. That shit is like going to the gym after work, shooting some hoops. It's an activity. Doing it yeah, women doing hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Most women, most, sir. Hold on, hold on Marley. Most These women, women hold on, sir. Most women have to at least like the man to sleep with him. You can't, I can fuck a bitch I hate. You can't fuck a nigga you hate, though. You're going to want to cut him. So there's a difference between us. It's a physical activity for us, and y'all put y'all feelings in it. So don't think that this man, when he when he quote unquote steps off with this other woman, he loves you any less. No, he's just handling his man instinct. It has nothing to do with you. He's not. You can fuck that nigga like a porn star, cook, clean, and do everything. But at the same time, the nigga might want a change of scenery. And he's not a bad person for that because if he's still handling his man business and you're going to take away everything that he provides to your life, you're going to take away all the good of him because he does one bad thing you don't like. That's like me saying that I don't want to. You're a great and amazing woman, but I can't be with you because you over talk me. And what black woman don't over talk a nigga? Period. That's what y'all are. That's a part of y'all psyche. That's all I'm saying. So what is the solution? What is the compromise? Is there anything? Hey, Marley, is there a compromise? The compromise. The whole pass. You, you want in y'all relationship, that, that's the um, compromise? The hall pass? Yeah, a hall pass. Ain't that what they call them? Yeah, I had one of them. Nah, because the hall, when you say, when you say hall pass, hall pass, if y'all, if you, if, if, if. I never heard of that ever. You get them all the time? Well, I never heard of that. Explain it to, for those. I've heard it all the time. Yeah. Okay. I never heard of it. He want me to explain it, y'all. So I'm going to explain it. So in a hall pass, your man or your woman gives you um a break from. The relationship. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely part of relationship. Okay, and allowance so to cheat. Do you practice this when we talk this hall pass? I'm single. Or have you in your past relationships? I've always been single. <laughs> <laughs> hey, see, you know what I don't like when we talking to these young women. Don't right think because we got ceilings light and can't come through this you motherfucker. Know, okay, go ahead. You know what? Hey, you know what? Go ahead, uh, cook up. Let her cook. Let her cook. Let her so, I'm, saying, I'm speaking to the ones that's in a relationship. Right, right, right. <laughs> I don't know about it. That's why I'm asking y'all. So, um, do y'all do the hall pass thing? Is that a compromise? Never heard of it. Uh, definitely. Any, no. any, any... <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest. We all individuals. We got our preferences. After, the, after this episode, it's after so this no episode, when the cameras go off, we're going to have a conversation. going to fuck your head up. It's going to be funny as hell. It's Listen. So no. Um. That is a that is that is a conversation that we can have. That is a converse. All I'm saying is, can we have a conversation about how you can be fed and how I can be fed? Can we have that conversation? And and you shouldn't shut a man or run out the door because he wants to have that conversation. You cannot just overlook everything that a person does good because they do something that you don't like. I can't sit there and over if you're a good woman and you and you respect me and you empower me, and you build me, and you, and you motivate me to be better, and all the things that you bring to my life, I can't just overlook that shit because of the fact that you might smoke cigarettes. Or cheese. Okay, you smoke cigarettes. I don't like cigarettes, but you know what? Am I going to oh, throw you away? Am I going to throw you away because your stinky ass cigarettes? No, no I'm not going to throw you away. Do, True indeed, but that's stupid, and that's why they like end it. up I That's why they like end up. Like that's why they end up dying like alone. That, that ugly that's why they end up dying like alone. Because it's negotiable, but I don't like because it. Because nobody is perfect. And I think we got to get off our high horses and think that we just perfect and we check all the boxes for everybody yeah. else. I don't we don't. I know I don't check all the boxes. Hey, baby, I eat Waffle House at 3 o'clock in the morning and smoke Black and Miles. I don't check all the boxes. But I'm not expecting this bitch to be perfect either, though. Right. And I think women, y'all want a perfect fairy tale nigga that don't exist. Right. Go fuck Jesus. And honestly... Honestly, it's not going to be one checkbox that's not checked off. It's going to be three or four. So it's going to be a con no on both sides. Okay, okay. On both that's sides. Cool, what I'm saying is, okay, we compromise and say, yeah, you, you, we know that you're a man. You want to go fuck somebody. Okay, go fuck somebody. Do that mean you got to be fucking these people every day, or do that mean you got to be? Do you? Are you gonna be? No, that's. I can't think about that. If he's making a certain amount of money and, and he's productive, he's a productive man. He don't got time to be fucking like that. Exactly. 
Exactly. But they make time. He don't got time to fuck you like that. Your man don't got time to fuck you like that when he's productive. He's going to step outside and get some outside. He don't want steak every night. Sometimes he wants salmon. Sometimes he wants some burgers. He wants steak. Then that's just the conversation that they need to Then have. she should pay bills and buy it for her she damn does. self because I bought the steak around this but motherfucker. And that's cool. She and see, even the reason... You even can't the reason, buy the steak I can buy. Way. I buy filet mignon. You buy a sirloin. And I respect the fact that you got some steak. But your steak ain't hit like my steak. I understand you a boss. I was, and I don't discredit it, but I got filet mignon over here. That shit is shit well, black I English. Think that, I think that the I think the reason again this is why I'm going back really to my don't point. Don't believe in love. Like, the I really the don't reason that the conversation is that way is set. You've been in your past. No, it's not the things of the past. This new thing is that you're she confused in love with sex. I think if you listen, I think if you let go some of the things you've had in the past and be open to what's going on in the future, not see. That's what I'm saying. That's letting that go. I guarantee. The nigga you never met, you don't know. I guarantee. I guarantee, Snow. That's the and we're not making this personally about anybody, but I guarantee, Snow. Once you, once you, once you develop compromise, about you. you listen, I'm just saying compromise in general. You gotta let it go. Listen, listen, listen. Let me get it. Once you, once you, once you learn how to compromise, I am positive. You will find a man and live happily fucking ever after. If you learn Michelle, how to. Are you talking about cheating? I'm just Say saying it. compromise. Say period. it. Compromising about cheating. I'm just saying Because I compromise, compromise about a whole lot, baby. Like what? So let's let's be real. Come on. You talking about cheating. Say you that. You want a nigga that make Say more that. money than you. I didn't say that. I did not say you that. You said you wasn't going to take the guy that did the whole and show. McDonald's. We can run the take back. Yeah, you we can. You said I said I dealt it, with remember? it and I dealt with the kickback. Exactly. Exactly. All I'm saying is if you learn to compromise, you will or find cheating. respect. I'm not saying I'm talking about everything. You will learn, you will find the man of your dreams in you less can't even in say less that. than 365 days. I, I know it is. I compromise on every fucking thing but this loyalty. And I I, I stand loyalty. on that. That's not changing. Where is that loyalty? At? That's that not changing. Loyal? That's not changing. And that same nigga will stand on the fucking and then, stand and, and laugh for his fucking niggas and, and and not and be loyal to the niggas, but won't be loyal to the fucking woman that's sitting by him every motherfucking day, seeing him through all his fucking flaws. Call his name. Seeing through Say all that nigga his fucking names. ups and downs. No, we need to no, get his name No, this is happening tonight. to women every single fucking day. Quickly. Cut it out. Shit. Like, it should be funny to an extent, but this is a reality. Yeah, like, y'all be breaking Quickly. up fucking homes, making kids turn up fucked up and do the same shit over and over and over again. Like, so what if? So it's what if? Oh, you like pussy? So the fuck what? Man. You think I want to see your same funky ass every motherfucking day? You just said you. I'm did. being fucking loyal, nigga. You could do it too. You just choosing not to because you saying fuck me. Is it a choice and or is what it an I instinct? Feel. Is it a choice? It's or a is choice, it an and you're choosing so, not to be loyal. So name me one person that chose not to. Chose not to what? Fuck bitches. Name me one. He probably ain't on social media, and you probably don't know him. So he doesn't he exist. So you don't know him. So you don't. You never seen so one, right? <laughs> so you never seen this unicorn no, that you're talking about. That's loyal. So do you think? Do I you think? Niggas, that's so loyal. you know a six figure nigga that don't have problems with Why monogamy. Why do you keep talking about six figure? Because niggas? that's the only type of nigga you're going to date. No, because you said that you true. had you had that's already dealt with a nigga that didn't that's couldn't pay true. the bills. Just I ain't never even dated a six figure nigga. Like. You, you just said that so you're a business owner you and you would not about? date a man that couldn't take care of the bills. So the fact of the matter is that if, if a man is going to take care of your bills, he's going to have to make more than you. That means a six-figure nigga that's called a spade no a spade. I take care of my bills. The thing that a nigga can do for me is be loyal and take care of my fucking heart. Other than that, nigga, your money is cool. Just like my money is cool. But if I'm coming into that fucking relationship and I'm being disloyal, got you out here looking like a fucking clown, then what the fuck is my point? As Kevin Samuels would say, by a cat. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, let's move forward. <laughs> is there any more Casa in the house? Shots in the house of friends? Is there any more Shots House of Friends snow, in the house of friends? Can I say easy. that the compromise is just to the compromise in my oh, opinion. Compromise, you can't hear me? Hear yeah, you. go ahead, Snow. The, I mean, the way to compromise is to not have to compromise about certain things that are that important to you and your relationship. No, facts, facts. Exactly. I, I like you. that. I feel you. Okay, so the prey person is out there, but you just need to you need to date like, whatever she I, wants a monogamous yeah. man. She needs to she find him. You know, yeah. she needs yeah. to find yeah. one. Yeah. It's just yeah. the solid. People I agree need to with date that. The right people. But yeah. but just understand that that monogamous man is in her friend zone. Exactly. One, the monogamous <laughs> man is in the because because most well, most men going. most men are just as faithful as their options. So that monogamous man 
And you said before, it probably might work at the mechanic or might work at McDonald's or might work at Wingstop. He may not have the status, the money, the provisions, the connections that these other guys do. And as long as you're okay with that, then that makes sense and you're going to be fine. But if you want... A high, if you want a honeybee, that nigga gonna that nigga gonna I make honey. Fuck these the honeybees gonna come. <laughs> there it is. And they stingers. Like, I'm so cool. just so just make sure that you yeah, understand like, that that monogamous man may be quote unquote a lower value no, man. How yeah. is he lower value because of money? Like I think well, that is you got to understand I, what a high value man is. As y'all ahead, think it ahead, sounds for somebody to take somebody with lesser money, I think it's ludicrous that everything is revolved around fucking money. I don't give a fuck about your six figures if you fucking me over mentally and emotionally. You're fucking my life up. I Every know, day I'm waking I'm up in a bad space mentally, emotionally. I'm not as productive as I could be if you were being the nigga that you lied and said that you were yeah. being when I'm not around. Who the fuck you are when I'm not around is your character. And I'm dealing with a nigga that is reflecting on me poorly. Got me out here in these streets looking stupid because he can't control his urges to fuck some different pussy. Like, that's corny as hell. Are I'm Beyonce, so sorry. I don't I give a fuck it. if it's natural or I not. You, you, that shit is lame. So you're saying that Beyonce is lame for staying with Jay-Z? Man, I ain't saying she's her. lame for staying with him. She love that nigga. <laughs> but at the end of the day, is he out here still doing that shit? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Hey, the one thing see. you could ever she do is take your man back. But at the end of the out. fucking day, Beyonce, sorry, but they started like doing that it together. Bleed, bleed. She, you know she fucking breathed the same air I breathe. She's still a human being. Exactly. Uh, Y'all base everything off of popularity, do you numbers, likes, necessary double taps, hearts, money. Everything is not about that. Now, go ahead, Biz. Go ahead. Go ahead. All this stuff is talking about a nigga keep cheating, keep cheating. Every man talking about he keep this, he keep that. Do y'all women possess the quality to be able to keep a man? Can I we talk about do. that for I a second? I most certainly do. Didn't cut you off. Get in there. Look at this now. If everybody's having the same issue. Shouts out Empress Honey. Say cook, cook, snow, cook. Hold on. If everybody's having the same <laughs> issue, when do we start looking at our motherfucking selves and saying the nigga keeps cheating, this nigga keeps cheating, that nigga keeps cheating, Something y'all doing not right, but when do we How? have that conversation? What is Hold instinct? on. Hold on, wait a minute. That might be the problem. Listen. <laughs> Go ahead. What'd you say, Nina? I've never said anybody cheated on me because I've always been single. But <laughs> I say that shit. I'm trying to be like her when I grow the fuck up. The but fuck? I, I cap. don't mind um, I don't Big mind. cap, Nina. But go Ooh. ahead. It's your it's your platform. Go ahead, Nina. They ain't never had a man. You know me. You never had a man. That's what you saying up right now. How old are you, man? Respectfully, I don't want to know your business. Respectfully, I'm 29. How the fuck you 29 finna be 30? You talking about you never had a man and been single your whole life? I had my baby daddy, but man, you got a whole baby. Go to the next. That's a husband. That's your husband, goddamn. Bro, this is my high school sweetheart. We dated. 11th, 12th. That don't got nothing to do with the We, 11, we dated 11th and 12th grade. She lied. We used to date in high school. what I'm saying. Respect. Go ahead, brother. Listen, ahead. no. No, I didn't talk to nobody in high school. I had a little boyfriend, but he was out of school already. So, you know, and then, but anyway. With, I No. <laughs> he was the same age. He just didn't go, y'all. Just chill. <laughs> no, you say he was out of high school. <laughs> so no, listen. So I I think that I'm I'm uh, one of y'all. Respectfully, you never kept a man or been with a man. Your perspective on this stuff is not valid because you're saying that I you don't know I'm about keeping a man and being with a man Ooh. on a certain type. That's what you're saying. You've been single, man. I never said that I knew. You said it I three said times. I've never been you cheated I've been on. I've never been cheated life. on. That's what I said. I know how to get. So if you've been single your whole life, your perspective I is a little em. different than Britney, Sammy, motherfucking Snow, and motherfucking uh, Just so Chill because be your perspective and ain't be quiet valid and in this conversation. Be quiet and listen. Yes, it is. Let her listen. Let, let her talk. Let her cook. Let her cook. Period. I'm trying to hear where she's coming from. Cook, my bad. My bad. Yeah. Get the lighter. Get the lighter. Get the lighter. Get the lighter. Get in there, You know I'm gonna take it. I'm triggered. Hit a button. Come on, my cheese. I'm triggered. Keep it cute and we keep it on mute. Period. <laughs> Period. <laughs> okay, so listen. I don't know. I'm trying to figure I'm it out. Really too. Like, I don't even I'm really like, I feel like I'm a nigga because oh, I don't. You know what? <laughs> Bro, I'm right here. so tired of hearing I would have brought that. That's what the fuck you was finna say that you think you a nigga. You can skip that motherfucker coming. Let her cook. Let Let me cook. 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 
at you right and said I had to. I'm cutting the mic off. Go ahead. They can't hear him. Go ahead and talk, baby. I'm cutting the mic off. Period. 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 Okay, so I feel like um I don't mind if um my friend I, I, he's not my boyfriend. Okay. So I don't mind if he do his thing, like whatever he feel like he wanna do, like but just know that I'm gonna be doing it too. And if that's something that you don't want, then you stop it and then I stop it. Like I'm understanding, I'm open, honest. So I feel like um we talk and connect on a different level. Like um your homeboy, but <laughs> but Who the fuck we, want that? We, <laughs> What do you mean? But no, but listen, that Niggas might be what she wants. That. That's what they want. Oh, that's what they want. No, that's but not what we want. Is, they you want see how everything you're saying is about keeping it real? Exactly. Because no, right. that's all I do is keep it real. And if that's what I you want, cool. Okay, do yeah. you, baby. But look, I'm going to do me. And Man, then when you sentiment. don't want me to do it or when you feel like you're tired or whatever, and I'm okay. I'm slowing down with you. Like, we on the same page. If we're not, then, you know, you yeah. ain't for me. Or, you know. But what? It sounds good. That's, it sounds like the dating process. Life. That's all it is. It's just dating. That's yeah. what you do when okay. you're dating. It's, it's okay. So y'all are not in a relationship. But it's one person, though. But it's dating one person. You know what? Here's the thing. It's dating Here's one person. <laughs> It's dating one person. <laughs> if I if I can goddamn milk the cow, drink the cow milk, and they gotta buy that bitch, hell yeah, side nigga me. I'm cool. He he's my side, but main. They it's, it's, it's don't nobody know. It's a secret. No, that's just dating. That's not a relationship. That's just dating. Okay, we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna wrap this we gonna wrap this uh this 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 uh cheating. <laughs> A conversation up. Hold up, before you wrap it up, though, Nietzsche, what is the resolve? I'm about to. I'm about. To, that's what I'm about to do. All right. So, 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 in 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 resolution, in resolution, in resolution, we're we're gonna wrap this up. So we're gonna wrap this particular comment up. So check it out, ladies. There's I. I'm gonna be real. There is a cheat code, Snow. There is a cheat code, Britt, Nina. There is a cheat code. To get that high value man to be monogamous. It's not guaranteed, but there is a cheat code. And I'll tell y'all this, and I should charge y'all for this. You have to find a way to help that man walk in his purpose. And a lot of women don't do that. You got to be in the gym shooting with him. Facts. You got you to be there passing him the ball. Why he's shooting, shooting it? Facts. A lot of women don't want to be shooting in the gym with a nigga. They just want to wait till he balling. So find a man that's in the gym and help that nigga with his jump shot. That's how you. That's how you get that fi that high value man to conform to that. Because if a man's walking in his purpose and you are part of that, he's not going to. It's it's more likely that he is going to. Hold you with a different regard just by being his woman, but now you're his inspiration. What you trying to say? And Brittany? there's a lot of women that don't do that. Brittany Keisha K. Or mess with <laughs> high Gucci, abusive Gucci, fat Gucci, fat Gucci, slim Gucci, slim <laughs> Gucci, <laughs> drugged out Gucci, and abusive Gucci, and locked up Gucci. She stayed down, shot in the gym with that nigga. When he got out, he got his mind right, and I believe that he is. He seems to be very Hell monogamous. Yeah. So, ladies, if you want that monogamous man, find a way to help him walk in his purpose, and you will be so valuable and important to him that you may have a chance of getting monogamy. The only thing I have to say. Go ahead, Queen. And the girlies may tussle with me a little bit. Go ahead, babe. But it's not the fact that the women won't do it. Okay. They just don't know how. Thank you. I like your perspective. Elaborate. Exactly. Elaborate. And so if you don't know how, elaborate. I think it's futile so it's like, for you elaborate. to think that you're going like, to get one. Elaborate. Let the queen elaborate. Go ahead, queen. Okay. Go ahead. So for me, I've kind of put aside this notion like, oh, this man got to be making six figures. Oh, he got to. I'm growing up. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. For me, it's all about if a man is doing things in his purpose. Because I can't follow no man without no vision. Point blank, period. So for me, it's just like if you know how to amplify, because I'm not about, I'm not a barber to builder, okay? I'm not, mm, I mean, but I'm gonna amplify whatever you got going on. But a lot of women just don't know how to do that. 
Well, that's, see, yeah, I like that. You you, you got to understand that that process is ugly. See that that's that's it's like you that want ugly money. Yeah, <laughs> ugly you money. gotta go to practice with that man. You can't just be around and wait for him to hoist that ring up. That man is not going to be the monogamous. Be He's already won in life. That be the fear. Like, so listen, you listen. Doing it for the wrong one. But you, yeah. true indeed, yeah. it, it happens. Fear. No, you're, 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 you're right. I didn't propose to. You're right. I didn't right. you right. get all that. You're right. Shot in the gym. I didn't roll on the back. I didn't roll. I didn't die. And die. You're right. No, you're right. You picked that man. Nobody tied you to that man. No, everything. I wouldn't change that for the world. Don't get it fucked up. No, I one at a time, one at a time, time Biz. What I'm saying is his theory is not necessarily true. I didn't, say it, I didn't say it was guaranteed. I didn't say it was guaranteed. But you wanted a resolution. And it may not be the truth that you want. But I'm saying you you can boost your percentage a whole lot more if you find a way for to, to help that man walk in his purpose. And I'm going to tell you why because it's happened to me before. I met a young lady and I was... P nice or whatever. I was the rapper, and that woman helped me walk into become ugly money Nietzsche. She helped me walk into this into my, into this building. She helped me file the damn paperwork to get the insurance and things that I wouldn't have never thought about. I, I will give her credit for that. She helped me find my purpose. I ain't straight far from that goddamn tree at all because she was so valuable to my life that I didn't. I it, it didn't even cross my mind. And a lot of women are all about what they can get from a man and what he has to offer. But when you start, when you figure out a way to offer him more and show him a better way, that's when you become so important. If he's a real solid nigga, that's when you become so important to his lifestyle and his routine that his ass will sit his ass down. I'm just telling you, it's not, it's not easy. It's not sexy. It's not beautiful. You might be in the car, sleeping in the car sometimes. You might got homeless, whatever it is. But when you do that, when that nigga get up, if he a solid nigga, you got your you got your monogamous man. That, that, that ugly money. But a lot of women don't want to do that. I, you I know agree, what? Man, I didn't get it. Listen, I, I feel it. like that process, you know what I'm saying, is a hell of a process. And I feel like men and women both, I'm not gonna say either or, holding on to the past too much fucks up your future. Oh, for sure. What you just said is key, but we gotta put this to the forefront. And this goes for niggas and this goes for women. What you've been through is your testimony and what you've been through is what you learned. It's your life experience. Nobody could take that from you. But we don't give a fuck about that. Please, sir. We, ma'am, we don't care about the nigga you used to be with and he went, he took your money, he crashed your car, he blah, blah. That ain't got nothing to be. We don't care nothing about the man, the woman that's looking for a man and saying, oh, he did, he uh, didn't have no money or he was um, not doing what he was supposed to do. It don't matter. Like, at some point, if you want to have a productive relationship and you want to move forward with, with whoever it is you're trying to move forward with, with in whatever time of relationship you're trying to build, you got to let go of the past. That don't mean you don't learn from the past. That don't mean you understand and grow from the things that you've been through. But let that shit go, bro, because at the end of the day, we tired of hearing that shit. We don't care about all these niggas or these bitches that fucked up. Nobody gives a fuck about that. We don't know them. We didn't meet them. We weren't part of that circumstance. But y'all sitting here so saying y'all gonna do the same shit. What? Say that again? In real time. What? <laughs> that this is what the fuck y'all about. Like, y'all want massive pussy. So it don't matter. We ain't talking about Who the past. Just said we talking about, about massive the pussy, fact that y'all no. like massive that's pussy. That's what I, what I just said. That's what you heard, massive this is pussy. What we've been I just about said the whole time. Time. And the only oh, thing you motherfucking heard was a massive pussy. You said let it go. But All I'm that shit that I just said, you about. talking to me about massive pussy, it's not them, it's you now. I'm starting to thank Snow respectively, no. respectfully. I don't know what you've been no, through, but you got to gotta let that shit go. We don't show. give a fuck. And that we're I'm holding to hear about on it. to old shit. I don't care what he I'm did. I'm not holding let on to old shit. shit. I'm sitting go. here talking about what y'all talking about. It's old to you and it's this new to us. This is what's coming out your mouth in real time. We don't care. We're not talking about my past. We're talking about what y'all saying right now. The way you're moving right now is according to what you've been through. And you're stuck on that. we're talking about what y'all talking about. Soon as the nigga say this, it's Nigga been cheating. If a nigga say that, it's niggas ain't shit. Well, yeah, Baby, I ain't you gotta let the shit, shit like go. That. You trying to move forward no, or just I'm, start dating I'm bitches? Bad. Which one you gonna do? Like, <laughs> let it go and yeah. move forward. You know what I'm saying? You we understand you've been whole through other things. Shit. Nobody's holding on to the past. I'm sitting here talking about what y'all are saying in the flesh. This is what the fuck y'all saying right here, right now. We ain't talking about shit in the past. We talking about what y'all are saying right now. 
I don't know the nigga. Right now. I Who never met him. Nigga? We're Who not talking cares? about no other nigga. You cheated, about what y'all no, right you cheated before and then you do it again with another person. That's what it's just repetitive. But That's do you possess the qualities to keep me attentive and want to be in a, in a relationship with you? Is. That's another thing. But y'all said that, that is levels. natural for it's a nigga to want man to It's pussy. levels. You look it's pretty. Levels. You look good. I want some pussy. Yeah, let's fuck. Now, can you keep me in in, in, in a in a committed relationship? You want to blame the nigga. Is Part it not contradictory when all y'all claim y'all looking for from the other women is pussy? What? That's all y'all looking for. You keep so talking no, about pussy. No. What's necessary I'm confused. To keep Everything we talking about, you keep saying pussy. Pussy, <laughs> pussy, pussy. Because pussy. that's all y'all this want. This is what y'all are saying. This y'all is what just the doing it for recreation. Is. is that not the topic? <laughs> That's what you said. Yeah, am it's, I right? It's just fun. Y'all I just feel like, like you got to let it go, man. Let, what? <laughs> you got to let, let it go. Just let y'all fuck? What no. Mean, let, what we're saying that. Let me get on to sex. No, what I'm what? saying is, oh I feel like this the women. The topic. Monogamy. No, he wrong? said letting go of things what? or something. In your past. Yeah. That's what we're saying. If you constantly are telling us about the man she that can't. fucked you over, right. that cheated on we you, and about bump, no bump, bump, that's, that's the no energy you bring into your new situation. Yeah, I agree. But we're not well, talking about that. Snow is telling us this. Well, I don't say shit about mm. me this whole fucking time. I said what niggas be on out here and doing what every I'm single day. You see like... it on social media every day. You see all the motherfuckers out here going through this shit in real time. We're not even talking about me. So <laughs> you got shit misconstrued, not me. All right, it's irrelevant. Exactly. I get what you're saying. It's not like you made valuable points. I think oh, everything you said it. just flew over. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It just flew over. Your head. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> It's irrelevant. I see where you go. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let, let, let's let's move forward. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. Shouts out to that. All right. Question. New topic. <laughs> that was good. Ladies. Would you take a healthy relationship if you had to delete your Instagram? Yes. yes. If you had to delete your Instagram today, would you take a healthy... Re if you have a healthy relationship but you have to delete your Instagram, Snow? Yes. You would delete your Instagram? Yeah, I would. What right now. You I don't even fucking like our Instagram. So Facebook. Career Facebook, girl. All of it. Snapchat. Every single, every single Fuck one. Fuck the career. Every TikTok. single one. Let her talk. Every TikTok. single one. Damn, because on. as these years go so on, on I'm a very <laughs> self-aware self person. Talking to the mic. I, I'm a very self-aware person. Like, I know what's important to me. At the end of the day, these double taps don't mean shit. At the end of these day, these DMs with shriveled up dicks and fucking telling me I got a fat ass and I'm you're so beautiful, you're the goddess of the earth. That shit don't mean nothing like. It don't mean nothing. People be getting away from the reality of shit. And the reality of this shit is there. This sh the, it, shit's too real out here for this shit to even be a conversation. Mm -hmm. It's too fucking real. There's so much shit going on that we are totally disregarding to the point where we're sitting here talking about fucking monogamy. Why do y'all motherfuckers got time? We off that. We not, so we let's talking let's about, talk about Instagram. Keep your relationship <laughs> and keep your Instagram or not. That's no, we, that's don't, go back, don't go back. Don't go back. Don't go back. Would you cut no. your social media? No, 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 no. no. Pause. Let me finish. Media. Let me finish. Go because y'all asked ask me a man. question and I was answering it. Okay. That was me giving y'all some context behind my answer. Go ahead, quick. Go ahead. So would you keep your social media or get rid of it? Like I said from Jump Street, fuck social media. Okay. Period. So that's, I'll give shots, out, shots out of snow. Okay, snow. In the corner, queen. Sammy, Same would you question. get rid of your social media for a healthy and a productive relationship? 2020, I mean, I mean I 2023. Yes immediately when, when you ask, but honestly, I mean, I don't think of it would matter. Your, tic, only, your TikTok too, your TikTok. See, I learn a lot on TikTok. But like, that's, 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 that's <laughs> like education. That's like college, but... I don't. I don't think it'd be a problem. I'm not. So you addicted. wouldn't. That's no, a no. I could. I could delete it, but I mean. But I don't not think, TikTok. <laughs> I'm trying to figure like, out what you're I'm saying. I'm getting a whole college degree from TikTok right now in life, but no, I could delete social media. I'm not. A, I'm not addicted to it. Okay. Like, I'll go in there look for recipes. So that's a. You'll get rid of it. Give yeah. it to my pass. The mic. Go ahead, Brittany. Brittany. Brittany, what do you think? Would you delete your no. socials? No. Uh -oh. No. Yeah. Why? Why do you feel if, if this is a healthy relationship in mm -hmm. 2023? 
You find the man of your dreams. He say, damn, Brittany, I, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really fucking with all that Facebook, Instagram shit, Snapchat shit. I appreciate you cut that shit. So you saying no. Why would you not do it? Because I'm not on Instagram or my socials just doing non-productive things. Like a part of what I do for work, even my, my nine to five, even my business, I have my own podcast. It's like mandatory for me to be online. So that's a no. Okay. Yeah. That, that, that ugly you have a great man. You met him. He's a the perfect uh, man that you're looking for. First boyfriend. Yeah, great, great boyfriend. First boyfriend. First boyfriend. Never had a boyfriend. <laughs> Motherfucking twin. Okay, never mind. But first boyfriend. Mm -hmm. He's bringing all the uh, qualities that you feel is the nigga that you fuck with mm -hmm. should possess. And he say, "Damn, nigga, I ain't gonna count. I ain't really fucking with all this goddamn Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. You gotta cut that shit right now." But I'm fucking with your program. What would you? How you feeling? So do I have to just um, delete the whole thing, or can I just like start over? Can you delete delete, that shit. delete the whole motherfucking <laughs> app? <laughs> so that was a no. No, no, I was no, okay. I was asking. No, I can definitely do it. I feel that um, I need a break. You're not from saying it. it with your chest, Nina. You said a lot of shit with your chest tonight. Tonight. Save yourself in the yeah. cloud. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that, like. No, we okay. talking about honestly deleting it, ma'am. Brittany, it's stop able? being a bad influence. <laughs> okay, it's Nick delete. Say it's delete gone. It. It's gone. It's out the window, y'all. I call Cap. She got a burner page. She got a burner account. Nina got a burner account. What? Not her name. Yes. No. 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 I don't believe. I believe. Right, if you were worried about Instagram. Yeah. No, no, like, no, hold on, no, hold on. Craig, no, Craig Lucas no, is here. No, 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 no. Craig Lucas talk. Y'all no. talk. It's Craig Lucas no. talk. Hold on, everybody, shut up. I think the question was very vague. Can you delete your Instagram? Really what's being asked is, if you're posting up certain type of posts on Instagram, like you posting up like sexy pictures of yourself and you're doing it consistently, and that man that you're in a relationship with says, I don't want you to advertise anymore, I don't want you to do that no more, he wants you to stop doing that. Not pictures of your dog and your cousins and your cats and all that shit, but just like a woman that's being promiscuous online. Okay, so Crank, this is another question I want to piggyback. I like your question. You said a lot. Can I piggyback on that? Do you have a problem with your man liking uh, women online? That's another Instagram. picture. That's another question. We are gonna stay that's here right quick. One, because that's, a, that's a whole other. That's a whole other topic. It's a whole other topic. Don't don't take them there yet. Okay. okay don't take them okay, there yet. Okay. Let's just talk about this Instagram. Go ahead. So that's why I asked, like, do I have to delete it and start over because of the post that I post? Um, my man might not like the post. So are you saying you just don't like Instagram, or do you want me to post something that's more? I'm a single. I'm, I'm a like reserved. Yeah, I'm a I'm a taken woman. I'm in a relationship, and I need to. You want me to be in a monogamous relationship? I want you to delete that motherfucker because I'm insecure because I got rid of all my hoes. Get rid of it. Is that a problem? No, because I'll do it in the beginning, and then once you know. <laughs> No, the whole yeah, term. No, you know the what? whole. She you said, "I do it in the beginning." You know what? Next, ask the next. Once we one, have man, our three months, she gonna try to no, recover no, that page. Once we have our <laughs> <laughs> it's not monogamous uh, no once more. Once we have our six months said. talk, then we'll talk about Instagram again. No, as long as you say we're reactivating. Yeah. Right. I'm, 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 I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have a. Si I'm, we, after we gonna have a six month talk about these threesomes then. Okay. Well, okay, we'll compromise. I, I, so I, I say that I say that I say that to I, I say that to say this. Snow, I'm glad you didn't shoot yourself in the foot with that because if you would have said no, who boy I would have got triggered. So I, I I respect it because of the fact that you are doubling down on what you're saying of what you want, and once you get what you want, a you know cancel Christmas. I respect that. Um, Brittany. <laughs> 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 miss, 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 miss Brittany. Um, and I'm only going to talk about the things that we spoke on this show tonight. Um, you, you are one of those women that uh, want to pursue a monogamous situation with a man, respectfully. And you have the right to do so. So if this man is bringing everything that you want in this healthy relationship, why is it even a question for you to delete that shit if that's what he wants. 
Go ahead and talk into that mic. Yeah. Once again, man, I know this seemed like a small ass for some, mm-hmm. but I'm going to stand on what I said. No. And I honestly <laughs> think <laughs> um, the type of man that I want, he'll have some reason to it. And if you look on my page, it's like, okay, it's, it's not one of them type of pages. You know? I mean, it's, it's given. It's not one of them. It's given. It's not one of them. It's though. curves. <laughs> It ain't, it ain't one of those. It's hips. There's a lot going on on that nah, page. Nah, 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 nah. She ain't going crazy. Nah, I ain't going to let you do that. Word. Word. Nah, nah, nah. You ain't got that Word. going on. I, I, I ain't going to let her water nah, you down, nah. baby. I ain't gonna, nah, nah, I ain't saying that, bitch. I ain't saying that. No, it's not. It's not that. It's not like that. No, it's but but it's 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 some Instagrams. It's some alluring things that may attract a man. Sure. Okay. With reason, I think he will understand. You just be out of reason. Now, if I was just... Stay out of reason. It's, it's, it's I am. Go ahead, Britt. But... Put it in there. I don't see this shit right now. But my thing is just like, I feel like my man, with reason, it's okay. not like... I, like I said, even part of my nine to five, like, I have to be on Instagram. Right. Even things that I do, like contract work, I do social media managing work. For I sure. have to be online and connect with people mm. and all of these good things. So... Um, so if he's saying he wants you to breach your I am Britney H page, oh, but you no, can keep no, your no. business. Going for Hold me. on, sir. No, I don't like Thanks. that page. Come on, sir. <laughs> Come on, like sir. Page, sir. It's got to make sense, huh? I don't like this page, sir. So if this I'm saying, so Britney, you know, you're saying. You gotta get rid of your page, Britney. I so, don't so you like your motherfucking page. This is a productive relationship. <laughs> I can financially secure the world uh. and the world can secure. But you need to take this motherfucking page down. What are you going to do, man? This is not a, you she know what? No. This ain't a productive page on the community. I don't like, I don't like all of this. This fit it's right lot, here. It's given, right? Yeah, I, this black fit is ooh, too much. This ooh. white fit. Yeah, 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 this white it's, fit. This it's ain't given. Right. This ain't the. This thigh, shit. little hip, little thigh. This ain't the shit I want to see on my fucking. Nah. I didn't say you look bad. I didn't say you look bad. I'm saying I, if you're my woman mm. and I'm saying we're trying to build, right? I don't much. like the energy. I don't it's like the energy of the page. It's okay. giving me too much. Okay, okay, okay. It's giving me too if much. If my man said, hey, I don't like these <laughs> images, <laughs> I, could, I could clean out the images now. Okay. If you want gotcha. me to delete some of the images, okay, yeah. but I'm not getting rid of my Instagram. Yeah, you got to go back to the apartments. You got to go back to the apartments. Hey. If you don't want to go back and you want Instagram, you got to go back to the apartments. Baby, I'm in midtown in my apartment. Your part, we know you gotta go back to your whatever your I establishment mean, is, ma'am. Well, respectfully, respectfully, I'm respectfully but I'm saying oh, we you don't want to let go Instagram. <laughs> I don't like it. You got a perfect see. man. God sent him to you, and you blocking God blessing. He's not gonna forgive you for that. Just Come on. chill. Come on. Don't forgive me. God know how I do. By a cat. God brought that man to you. I need to get a and cat. And you lost out on self. that man that God brought to you because you didn't like your Instagram. No, you gotta relax. No, you gotta relax. You gotta relax. Are you sure the people? Let me, let me, hold on, y'all. We about to, we about to go. Pull her page up, bro. We about to go, we about to pull it up. Hold on, look at the white fit and the the black fit. I don't even like the black. That's a beautiful thing. Hold on, y'all. I got y'all. Let me tell you something. We pulling up this page. We pulling up this page. From a man perspective. Okay, fellas. From your man perspective. Nice, nice. I'm not saying you don't look good, ma'am. I'm not talking about how you look. You got it. I'm saying if I was you, the man that was. Courting you and wanted uh, to deal with your process and your program, yeah. you need to get rid of that motherfucking page. That page with all that shit right there. Whoa, it's gotta go. That's Whoa, right. it's gotta go. I'm Whoa, sorry, hold can, on. We, right can we get can we get like another that. round of, of, of Casamigos? Is that possible? <laughs> <laughs> Last round of Casamigos, bring it through. Bring, bring so, 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 Please, so, Britt, you're saying that I if, don't like the page. Stop over sexualizing me. Yeah. <laughs> You, why you was wearing that shit? Stop then. over-sexualizing why me. Didn't have Everything a is very much so tasteful. Sure. Why you didn't have a turtleneck on? It's giving very on. much so, ladies. It's giving hips, thighs, and ass. It's here. Okay, okay. It's giving a lot of ass. It's giving a lot of ass. I can't help it. You need to disconnect. I don't like it. <laughs> no, you can't Listen, that I have a whole podcast about women being themselves, trying to be the better themselves, so I have to. But if you have a healthy relationship, okay, so I think this is where we're going. Go, let her talk. Hold on. Too much. Go ahead, Gwen. Go ahead, Gwen. Okay. I'm a thick woman. I show up, okay, online. And part of my whole brand with my podcast is about elevating women to be them better selves. Like, I show up confident. I am a certified confident coach. So, do the pictures a little sexy? I'm single. Okay. I'm single. Uh-huh. So it's giving 
that you're not willing to give up your Instagram. It's giving, but if you I was to meet that man, once again, I'm, I'm still Because it is part of my workplace, like, for real. Okay. However, if you want me to clean it up, oh sure. I want more turtlenecks and More turtlenecks numbers. and trousers. Yeah, that's what gotcha. I Okay, so. And so, I would even, and see, okay. even ahead, to your up. point, even yeah. to your point, that's a, that's a cool compromise. But the difference is, you still got the niggas in your DM. Regardless, huh. it's about the attention that's coming that way, mm. and Thank it's you, not bro. an insecurity thing. Thank it's you, like Frank. you wouldn't want your man out here advertising what he got. Yeah, to, oh. You know what I mean? Thing, okay, Nietzsche, so Nietzsche, can I get that? Listen, I'm just saying. listen. Hold on, let him cook. Okay, but the thing is, right? I will definitely let my man understand. He will definitely feel the energy for me that nobody has accessibility to me. I would never. No, I would never. Dishonor him in any kind of way like, like that. Don't trust that shit. Yes, it right now like it's giving single. That. It's you a, can, I'm single. Exactly, but you can go to the gas station and have a hundred men in Period. your face. Right, so that's something you can't like control. We asking about what you can control. You can't control. You can't control nobody. You cannot 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 control just like I can give that man at the gas station my number or a conversation, a wink, a smile, I can do the same thing on Instagram. So it's up to me. So do you I have a do problem with your man liking women in bikinis and motherfucking lingerie? No, because I'm going to have it on and he's going to like my pictures. Wait, I'm saying, let's be fair. Let's all, can we be fair? We just did the woman part. Uh -huh. I don't care. And do you, if you go through this IG model page mm -mm. and your man likes six of her baby, pictures. baby, when I put my bikini on. Can I finish, I ladies? Care. Ladies, can I finish? Respectfully, can I finish? Go ahead. I'm saying, if I was on the gram and we're in a relationship, like Snow, it. Nina, Brittany, like Zach, Sammy, I'm in a relationship with everybody, right? And I'm trying to say, I'm online, I'm scrolling, and I seen young ladies, check, check, beautiful young ladies that I thought were nice, and I'm liking check. they pictures. She got bikinis, she I got don't lingerie. Have a problem with that. Cool. None of you ladies do, who has a problem with like that. that. So Niche. if they liking Niche. my pictures, he what he gonna be mad? So you don't think nothing's wrong with me liking that? Cool. Did you see my Instagram? I haven't, but I'm gonna follow you. Go <laughs> okay. ahead, Brittany. What would you say? What's your? You don't care about that. It doesn't bother you. No. That Sammy, doesn't. what? Sammy, does it bother? That, it bothers you if your if your man. Hold on. Give it, girl. Sammy, the mic. Let me ask you then, Sammy. If you go through an Instagram models post on IG and you see your man, he's like six of her pictures, like, you know, bikini pictures and things of that nature. Do you feel, how do you feel about, is it cool with you or you don't give up? I don't care. That's not a problem to you? No. It's just Instagram to me. My what? thing is... No, <laughs> no, hold on. She already hold said on. She already said she would delete it. No, wait a minute. Pause. Pause. No. You see how she cranked wait, that thing? Me, I'm let me bring the question is. to you, man. Can I please bring the question to you? If you're in a committed relationship with your man and you go to his or you go on the IG Models page and you see five, six of your man hearts or likes on the page... Not comments, just he likes the pics. Do you have a problem with that? My thing is... Okay. Yes, yeah. Motherfucker, you want me to delete my page with that shit on it, but you want to okay. go like another bitches? Exactly. In the bikini? So why didn't like mine? Hit my little siren. Shit. What the hell? Win, 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 win. So... You're now she doing a little Wayne Wee. Check, wee, check. Wee. Riddle me that. So, check, check. So, so here we go now. We don't need we, the cake. We don't need the court. So here we go now. If you if you don't have a problem with me doing it, or you do do you or don't you? No, you saying yes or no? Because I don't want to speak for you. Because, I'm going to say don't kill me. Because based off of an experience, I I actually experienced that. And if I'm being honest, I didn't like it. Okay, so uh -huh. do you post pictures of you in bikinis and shit like that on your Instagram page? When, when don't I, you post uh, that type of shit? When I owned a boutique on, and I was making clothing, don't you post the same pics I definitely that you had it. do? It's a yes or no question. <laughs> My point is, if you posting the same shit and the niggas like it, but you want me to delete mine, and do you want to like the next bitches? I'm saying, do you is post it? it? Do you 
you post on your page? That when shit? I posted in that shit, it was because I owned a boutique and I was actually making. So that was a garments. yes. That's yes. a yes. I was making money. So why would you have a problem with him liking the same type that of pics? Because nigga want me to delete the shit that I'm posting, but you want to exactly. like the next. Don't make it like it's a make problem it if I'm doing it That's and all. then you go like. I don't else. think. I don't think. The double standard right here is we trip. Where's the double standard? Wait a minute. No, for real. Because, oh my God. Well, no, yeah, it I is a double standard. If it's not, if Wait it's a minute. double standard, no, it's, it's a double standard. standard. It you is. You want me to delete now, but you want to go like the next bitch's bikini No, bitch what I'm trying to say is. Make I'm it make sense. It's given insecure. Thank it you, is. sir. Get, 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 get Thank you, morning. sir. You posting the same pictures that you can play. But you want me to delete now. But you posting those pics. But I'm liking these That's same pictures. That's not insecure. It's me. just like, nigga, you got time to be sitting here liking 24 pictures of the same bitch. You I said like, six. You on her head. Why the fuck is you with me? You feel a lot. You feel me? That was one swipe. That mean you want to fuck. No, Go I went through the page. That bitch. I went through the page. I went six one, two, three. pictures. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah, six. like you getting real well, How many, how many like likes determines time. if you want to fuck? Six. If a nigga like your pics, how many likes six. determines if he's trying to fuck? Really three. Every single one. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. One. Whoa, 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 whoa. Really three, but six minute, is wait like, wait a minute, what bitch, up? bitch, if I visit wait your page, bitch, I want to fuck. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Get up, you gonna see no engagement from Crank Lucas on your page, <laughs> but I visited that motherfucker, <laughs> bitch. Top five, five, five. that's it. Wait a minute. No, I'm making your point. I'm agreeing with y'all. That's what I'm saying. How many <laughs> likes is it? How many likes does a nigga like on your Instagram to when you feel like, hold up, this nigga trying to tap in? Three like, to six. Anything more than three? Yeah. yeah. Ain't they more than... But three and up. Nina said... Fe- <laughs> like, how the fuck y'all want to be all thirsty and shit? Okay, wait. Okay, okay, shit anyway. okay like, wait. That shit is cool. Wait a minute. Three and up is like, Nina, what's up? Social media is meant for you to be social. You got to relax. just embarrassing Nina, as fuck. Nina, okay, you say three. Brittany, how many... Give, let Brittany hold on. How many is it that a nigga like of your shit until you be like, this nigga trying to fold my motion? Four or more. Four more, three, four, so y'all in the same. Sammy, how yeah, many? That extra one is pushing. I, I and I mean that shit from the bottom of my heart. I want my nigga to my yeah. side. <laughs> he said he feel I triggered. People like all my photos, and I never paid a no money because I have a business page. Like your personal page, he I likes how many? Pay. How many? He likes whatever for your page you do have. How many to you start saying, "Oh shit, this nigga trying to tap in with my motion." I never say that. You oh. never. So it don't matter how many he like. Yeah, it's a dub. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> how many do a nigga like to where you be like, oh shit, you know, this nigga trying to, let me see, you know what I'm saying, this nigga trying to get with my program. How many likes is it? One, two, three, what's the- I don't know, and sitting here talking to y'all, I feel like I'm getting to know, you know, more about myself. I'm starting to feel like, if I'm being honest, like, my type of nigga is not on social media. Ooh. He's not into that shit. But you're on social media. But you're on- But so what? How They're not so talking clear. about me. I said my type of nigga, I'm starting to think that he is not the type that's into social media. I really do. So like, that's zero. Yeah, Can I say something real quick? Go, so ahead, crank, go ahead, Crank. Go ahead, Crank. Go ahead, Crank. crank go ahead. I want to say two. How many of you like to let her like know? Like let Crank talk. Go ahead. How many do you like to let her know? I'm trying to. Get I already it said if I go on the page, that's but what she it can't is. Know when you visit. <laughs> wait, wait. She can't know if you visit. Wait a minute. He that didn't cut you off, that. ma'am. Hold on. Let Craig cook. One mic, one mic. One mic. One mic. Go ahead, Craig. Go ahead, Craig. Like I said, if I go on her page in the first place, like, that's where it's at. Every woman. you like you trying to bust her? I don't. I don't. I, I don't. I, I don't, don't like that. women's pictures. I don't like women's pictures. But he said if he goes on her page, he's trying to bust her. If, I'm, if, it, if it's a woman that I talk to or I deal with or I'm cool with, that's something different. But if I'm like trying to holler at her, I'm not going to like, 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 love, 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 comment, comment, because every other nigga's doing that. Mm-hmm. I'm either sliding them DMs mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. if we in the same city and we end up at the same spot, I'm going to shoot my shot then. But yeah. all that virtual shit is some bullshit. Mm. Another part of it is the fact that... Preach, brother. See... Women, y'all have more access to sex than we do. Huh? Say it again. What? Can you walk outside and open your legs and say, somebody come fuck me, and you have a line of people lined up? And y'all can't? What? You think we can? No. No, I'm serious. I'm being, on, I'm being for real. Like, seriously? Do you think a man can walk outside and say, who wants some of this dick, and it's going to be a line of women lined up? Yeah, I feel like y'all do. I feel like y'all do. No. Don't tell me what you feel. Tell me what you think. 
talk about to men him, in general. I talk to him, men, Crank. men in general. Crank, talk to him. Men in general. Yes. Okay. Everybody out here fucking ugly, big, little. Uh, don't get bottom legs. Don't get fucking arms. Fuck? Everybody's okay. out here fucking. So the, the other part no of it, the other point that I was going to make, I disagree with that because that's that's not the case. How is that not fucking? true? Everybody is uh, out here having one, sex. One, I, 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 uh, correct you me if I'm wrong. Hold up, correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. What is it? One in three men under the age of or over the age of thirty or something are virgins or Facts. don't have consistent sex or something Facts. like that. What's that? Say it again. Facts. <laughs> One in three. Yes. It's three of us. Yes. One of us, what is it, over age 30? Over 30. Over 30 don't have consistent sex or are virgins. Y'all are all fucking the same nigga. Don't get it twisted. So why the fuck is it so hard for people to be not? Because all you are fucking with is high value niggas with motion, queen. That's not true. Just like I'm telling you, that's what it is. He got motion. If he got old, he got motion. That's what we're trying to tell you. See, these are not, these are not, these are not just, these things that we're saying are not just, these things that we're saying. These are statistics. These are statistics. These are verifiable study statistics. Who conducted the research? We Don't can run the list down. There's plenty of research that's been conducted. There's plenty of companies that have done it. Do but the other part of it is this. The other thing I wanted to say is this, and this is kind of what I've been trying to get out all night. You do realize that. Out. See, I agree with what you said because I understand where you're coming from. But where you're coming from is a very rare place. All of y'all. Make very believe rare. world. They're delirious, very, brother. No, 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 no. Very small percentage of women is doing what y'all doing, making what y'all making, have the options that y'all have, and can... Not compromise as much as you're not willing to compromise. Pretty much, you said I'll accept anything except for cheating all night, and that's cool. Nothing and wrong with that. Nigga, because that, there's a difference between oh, somebody boy. who has Christ. less money than but do you, but but but, but uh, okay, lazy. okay, fine. So there, but but my point, but my point, but my overall point is, you can ask for those things, and it's somewhat reasonable. But when we talk about relationships in general, people in general, overall. That's not the norm for most men or women. And see, I don't want a normal man. What the fuck I are don't. we talking I want about? You see how it all just comes full circle? What are we talking about right now? I do not right want just comes full circle. You want an alien nigga? I, I, you don't I, I, want I'm a, I'm a fucking, nigga? I'm a surgeon with this. I'm surgical with this shotgun, Jake. Hold on, let Crank cook. This shit sound crazy. I already cooked. The, the meal is done. She just it's ate it. Exactly. You don't want a regular nigga. First off, and those regular niggas. Like and that's that fine. And that's fine. Yeah. That's cool. You want a honeybee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shot fired. Shot fired. You don't want a regular nigga. That means you want a high value honeybee. Hey, the way he, the honey. The way he just said that, that's going to be my new wrestling name. <laughs> high value yeah, honeybee. <laughs> With, with a McDonald's loyalty, she want a honeybee with a honeybee with she want she want a honeybee with McDonald's and Walmart loyalty. So she wants to McDonald's and loyalty. Oh, wait, that's she not wants, hey, listen, she, she, she listen, she about? wants the high value man. Oh she wants the high value man that makes six figures. Yeah, but she wants she wants the loyalty. Go ahead, go ahead, Walmart, brother. Yeah, yeah. Three percent of niggas have six figures. Like, what is you like? What are we talking about? Mm. Most niggas is not making six figures, so we're really being unrealistic True indeed. as fuck. True indeed. True indeed. So what is we talking about? We're but you ain't dating no broke niggas either, though. That's the case. You ain't you ain't dating no broke niggas. I won't right. fuck with no unambitious niggas. Exactly. A nigga with a vision. I'm in, un, I'm ambitiously broke. I'm still I not gonna get your number. I work at cookout and I'm ambitious. What's wrong with that? Come I work on. at cookout in the drive I have ambitions to go in, from the fries to earn a cookout. Talking, at this point, I'm trying to earn a cookout. Shit on somebody I'm trying like to get my not own me. cookout and what one day I want to have a cookout. My own like line that? of cookouts. What is Hey, but can we look up right how now. much money it costs to uh, purchase That's a cookout? Ambition. Let's let's make that a thing. I need yeah, yeah, yeah. ugly money. Because I think Chick fil A is 100000 Twenty thousand? Fuck no. How much? Chick fil A is like oh, hundred thousand or whatever. But 10, they, they, they do a background check. Wait, 10? what? What's the question? Oh, Chick fil A. I'm saying a 
Oh, Domino's? Facts, facts. What the franchise? You can franchise you can the get, Domino's and oh, the Subway for, oh, oh, yeah. for $10,000. I, I said Those Chick-fil-A. Are the two cheapest I said Chick-fil-A, though. The two cheapest. Hold on, I got it. It's, I got it. The two cheapest franchises are Domino's and Subway. All right, cool. So right. uh, to, 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 I'm going to put it on the screen right here to, uh, to buy a cookout. All right, so the franchisee yeah, fee. Is thirty five thousand. You gonna have to have you gonna have a liquid capital two hundred thousand. Your network has to be four hundred thousand. So there's a lot of uh, stipulations. That's yeah. where that extra go money to, comes into domino. play. But the, total, the, total, the, total, the total investment is three hundred thousand to six hundred thousand. Thank you. So that Domino's might cost twenty thousand to actually open up, but you have to have yes, sir. 300,000, 200,000 in capital. Yes, sir. No, they look at your capital. It's like it's like getting an apartment. You need credit. Exactly. Domino's the cheapest one though. Exactly. Out of all of them. Subway but that might be shit cheaper. is not hard to secure. Ch- that's those are the two cheapest. Subway and Domino's yeah. are the two cheapest ones to franchise. I know I was about to do a Subway. No, Chick-fil-A costs a little more. Chick-fil-A to do a background check. It's a hundred thousand to do a background check. Yeah. Conversation that we've had thus yes, far. Yes, ma'am. We did talk about resolve. Uh-huh. And at the end of the day, me personally as a person, I'm always striving to be my better self and I'm a very reasonable and open minded person, like on some real shit. You said, okay. really, you said open minded? Oh, I know y'all said <laughs> Bruh, that's not it. <laughs> my thing is I know y'all said it's compromising. <laughs> yeah, okay. But and uh, my thing is the whole loyalty and disloyalty of shit uh-huh. and the lying of shit because you can be honest. So my thing is at the end of the day, really, what is the fix to this whole Situation because it just sounds like a whole bunch of hurt people that been through shit and don't want to deal with Do shit you, that they already been we, through we, we on just, both sides. I, I, I break it down for you once again. What I, I already gave you the fix. It may not have been the fix that you want. That's no, what I'm that's what I'm saying. The, the truth. Information. The truth is not always what you want to hear. Mm. So there's no result. Hold on. Yes, there is a result. So just resolve, you might not if you like let me it. talk, I will. I will give it to you uh, once again because I gave it once. The truth is not always what you want to hear. The resolve, if you want this monogamous man that's ambitious, because you, you want a whole bunch of shit. Like you, what? Hold on. You want an ambitious nigga? You want no, a nigga? Hold on, Queen. Come on. I'm just going by what you said. You want an ambitious man. You want a man that is not at least broke. You want a man that's loyal. You want a man that's monogamous. You want all these things. That's, that's a four damn that's a big nature. Okay, listen, listen, that's four. listen, listen. Oh you, my God! You have a child. Hold on, hold on, Queen. I'm not done. You have a child. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you have a child. So if you have a child, that means you're going to want a man that's going to be in the child's life and treat the child like it's his own. That is a lot of asking for a man. But it's cool. Listen, if you want this monogamous man, you have to find a way to help him. Walk in his purpose. And when you do that and don't get this shit in return, I'm not talking you, about me. Do you play ba- a game of basketball to lose? Say have you game. ever gone and play? Have you ever played sports in high school? Did you ever play any sports? At have all you played a game of period? Have you ever played a game period? Have you played Uno? What game have you ever played in your life? Any game. Basketball. Basketball. Okay, okay cool. Did you walk into the game thinking, oh, I'm not going to play because I might lose? Exactly. That. Okay, cool. So that, that ugly now money. as I'm cooking, it's the same situation in life. You don't play the game of life to lose. You play it to win. So if you lose, you lose. But at the same time, you got to fucking try. Because the only shot you're going to always guarantee to miss is the one you don't take. So you got to take it, baby, or you're going to sit on the bench. It's all the way it is. I understand it. You chose wrong, Queen. You chose wrong. You chose wrong. And that's not the truth that you want. And understand, you can't just accept that. You can't just accept the truths that you want. That's not the way life works. Just because you want it this way, just because you want pink walls, just because you want gold rims, doesn't mean it's going to come like that. That's not how life works. I'm giving you the truth. Just like if a man tells you that he's not a one-woman man, he's giving you the truth. You should accept that. Just because Snow doesn't like it doesn't mean that it's not true. The truth of the matter is you have a better chance if you find a way to help a man walk in his purpose. Now, if you don't know how to do that or you're too scared to do that because of past trauma, which Biz said, stop bringing your past into yeah, your well, present, I'm queen, because that way your present won't Res- get to your future, queen. So if I bring your past trauma in there, then guess you- what? There is no solution for you because you're never going to help a nigga walk in his shit. There's nothing wrong. Listen, we don't judge and we don't hate on what you've been through because every one of us have lived life and been through things. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, but, the, that's the goal, though. That's but the at the same time, you got to let it go and move y'all forward. I really feel like y'all saying something to That's the <laughs> I think I that. Hold on, give up, Bob. Y'all let it go. Y'all let it go. I guess.
I think that. Well, I think that. Pittsburgh don't do that. Pittsburgh don't do that. No, there's a resolve. I think you're you not being open minded. There's no resolve that you that you find that you find. I just said help a man walk in his purpose. Is increase your chances by playing and That's the resolve. Every single time and drown it and hope that that shit turn out right. That's actually that's actually a good impression. That was actually a good impression. She snapped. She snapped. I give credit where credit is due. Listen, I'm not biased. <laughs> Again, Go ahead, what bro. you're asking for, I it's believe. Too damn much. I be, well, facts. well, big facts. It's fantasy world. Even though, but get in the real reality and find you a man in the real world. Hold up, hold up, hold on. Let my the fuck up. God damn it, shit. I believe it's obtainable for you personally. I believe that you can afford what you're asking for. It's still rare, but you can afford. You personally can afford what you're asking for. Shit. A lot of women, yeah, yeah, yeah. and whether they agree or disagree is, is leaving here on there. But another part of it is, you think? Do you think that you? I'm talking. I'm talking. Love, love. Wait a minute. I was just getting ready to say. As much as y'all think this shit is funny, I'm taking this shit in. Like this is. This is real shit. This is my life. And at the end of the day, if you're somebody that loves love and okay, you love so to are be you in loved, therapy? No, yes, I actually am. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. Am. Okay, that's, that's a start. But outside of that, outside of that, like y'all giving me whatever y'all the game, like this shit don't feel inspiring. This shit feel like I'm doomed. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm it feels like it feels it may feel like you're not gonna get your way. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that's that's, that's what it All sounds like. For loyalty. And ambition, that's not too much. I'm so sorry. So you don't get that. I respect I respect like go, go ahead. But but, 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 but what you gotta understand about men is we get disappointed and let down every day. Every single so day. You know what my mom my mom my mom hold on, Queen. My mama told me that I could be anything I wanted to be in the world. But guess what? I probably not gonna be president if I wanted to be. So we have to deal with disappointments and things of that nature. And you know what? We have to we have to fucking deal with it. The fact that we might not make this much or we might have done this or we might not have made it to the league or we might not have been a rich nigga or we might have been inherited a whole bunch of money. That's something that we have to deal with. We have to deal with disappointments every day that we're not, the world is not going to be what we make it. And sometimes, sometimes I feel like women live in this fairy tale world where they think everything should be exactly how they want and that's just not realistic. So you got to find a way to compromise and take the good with the bad and the bad with the good. That's all I'm saying. It's no such thing as a perfect man. Man, there's no such thing as a perfect as world. So if you're not perfect, perfect, why are you expecting him to be perfect? That's not perfection asking for two fucking things. You're not going to get your way every time. Deal At with no it. No point. According to God. No, I'm just saying I'm you're not, not every time. Way. I just want a nigga to say, do what the fuck he said he going to do. He said he was going to be non-monogamous. He said he was going to be And you be walked faithful. out that door. Non-monogamous. <laughs> you walked out that door. Non-monogamous. <laughs> Shouts no, out to Queen. Got, she's been a no, she's been a great sport. She's been a great sport. No, no, I, you know what? Check this out. I don't want you to leave. So from, hold on. I don't want you to leave from this and feel as if though to feel non inspired as if though we're telling you something. Over for that. <laughs> it, it, no, no, it is what it is. But with me saying what I'm saying is, I don't want you to feel non inspired. We just want you to maybe we just trying to shine a reality. Sometimes w life and reality are two different things. I think reality is what we actually Ooh, live hold in. Hold on, sir. You snap. And, and, no, no. Reality. Life and reality is two different things. Life is what is what uh, it's supposed to be, but reality is how we live in, in the actual present. You know what I'm saying? So we adjust into our reality. We know what it's supposed to be, how it's supposed to go, but sometimes it really don't go like that. And because it doesn't go like that, that don't mean you can't get it how you want and, and go where you want with it, but you have to be able to adjust. And so that's the main thing that I, me personally, from me to you personally, I want you to take from me is, you have to be willing to adjust on certain things, not on the loyalty and ambition, but if you want to get what you're trying to get, that, adjust, that adjustment has to be made. And it's not for you just personally, that's for all of us. Yeah. Because nobody on this panel right now is married. And that's how I feel like. Ain't nobody got oh, this I've shit. Been there and Wait, I nobody out. has this shit worked out. Nobody's sitting up here in Even a if we 10, was. 15, 20, 30 year relationship talking like, yeah, I know how this shit go. We're all learning as we go. You know what I'm saying? So your perspective is not wrong. And don't def don't feel defeated like you can't find what you're trying to find. Oh, but you know what I mean? You might have to look outside of the, the box that you was looking in 
to get with And you. even when we have these conversations, we're talking to you, we're talking to all of y'all, but we're talking through y'all to the audience. So it's not just not we, talking we, at. We're definitely. taking we're taking personal experiences. Like we ain't talking about our shit. We ain't shit. Yeah. We fucked up. Okay, let me speak for myself. I ain't shit. I'm fucked up. I got shit with me. I got, you know what I mean? Like a, that a woman would have to deal with. But at the end of the day, we all human. We all fallible. We all have our faults. We all got shit that we need to work on. For sure. And we're going to make mistakes to the day that we die. Mm. We just have these conversations. This is the solution. Yeah, it is. The get I don't know it, why nobody has said this yet, but this is the this solution. This is the therapy, man. This is, why, this is why this podcast space is so popular nowadays sure. is because this Facts. is the first time that we've actually been able to have an unfiltered conversation without amongst men and women without, with, with, without, the, without the filter the of TV and everything yeah, yeah. that, that, that tries to like shut the conversation down to certain points and shut down certain different perspectives. You might feel like you're not getting nothing from this, but I guarantee you for the next couple weeks you're gonna be thinking about this conversation. And it might be something that, pop and if it don't happen with you, it might happen with a woman that feels just like you that's watching this. And that's why, that's why I, and you know what, to piggyback on you, Crank, that's why I love the podcast, and that's what I tell about all I guess when they start saying things like, oh, I don't wanna come up there and have people look at me a certain type of way. The main thing I say to that is like the, the same way you feel, it's a million more people feel just like you. Oh, it's, for sure. It's three, four yeah. billion people. For sure. Show. So My ex-girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the respect that you have, there's 20,000 snows, whether you know it or not, because that's just how it is. That's why no, for I, sure. try to, I try to relay that to everybody. Like how you feel. It, there's so many more people that feel like you, you just don't know them. And what you I'm what saying is, is saying? it's 20,000 snows in the world out of 8 billion people well, well, not you, but your what's your what's your, your, perspective. your perspective but like where you stand at like you're kind of in those runnings like to where you can get that so I'm not even mad at what you're saying if you was just a regular chick working at McDonald's and some shit like that and you asking for all those things then like okay yeah I can't rock with that but I get what you're saying this whole time I've been getting oh, yeah. what you're saying you know what so, I'm saying go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. so um, I understand what she's saying because I feel the same way too yes I love love you want to have that one person that you know is your person and it's just going to be these butterfly feelings you know y'all going to get it. together and work it out and figure it out but it's 2023 and times have changed the men have changed the women have changed, and we all have to grow, evolve, and adapt and do it for ourselves now. We don't do it for nobody else. You can't, not even your kids at this point. Like, you got to live for Thank yourself. Because you. if you don't live for yourself, how can you take care of your kids? How can you love somebody else? Mm. How can you take care Ball of anything? Drop. other than, Exactly. So you definitely just got to say, fuck everybody. And take care of yourself. And what you're looking for is all going to start coming to you. It'll manifest Instead to you. Of, exactly. It'll manifest. Instead of you, you put trying out, to go look to for it and make it work. Uh, I ain't looking you for just, shit, but exactly. yeah, I feel you. Exactly. That's why I've been looking single, for shit, girl, for all my life. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think an important thing... And I'm gonna try not to be an asshole. You on your side. I'm on your side. I'm gonna try not to be an asshole. No, I'm, no I'm, she, I'm the op right now. I'm gonna try not to be an asshole, but... I, I feel that we have our ask in a relationship has to be as big as our give. I because give too much. Somewhere close. Uh, listen, listen what I mean by that. Our ask has to equal up to our give. Now, I feel I feel that giving you a bowling ball is something of value. But if you don't bowl, it's not. I have to I have to find I have to give you something that you find valuable. Because if you're not into cars and I buy you an old school, it's worthless no matter how much I paid for it. And I think that's where we got to learn our partners and learn who we're dealing with of what does this person need to feel fed and vice versa. So if we're asking for a lot, you are giving that person just as much. And that is a better deal in a man's mind. It's like, okay, she's asking for X, Y, and Z, but she gave me A, B, and C. But a lot of times, a lot of the things are lopsided. It's like, okay, you want sexual exclusivity. She wants provisions. You want protection. She wants respect. It has to be a two-way street. It can't just be... I'm demanding this, 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 and this for this man, 
and then you're not giving this, 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 this is quick. As quickly as you can say what you want, you should be able to say what you give. And it got to make and it has to be something that's valuable to him, not that's valuable to you. Because guess what? You may think that the fact that you made fifty thousand dollars this month in the you know in whatever club or whatever you do, that's neither here nor there. I don't care. Neither it's not valuable to me. So when you are trying to give me that or give or present that to me as value, I'm not going to see the value in it because that's not something I find valuable. But you know what? You cooked me dinner when I got off the podcast tonight. I'm going to appreciate the hell out that shit more than your ass bringing something, bringing some money. So we have to know our partner, know what they what they need to feel fed and bring that to the table. And then we have a better argument when we're asking for stuff, because I've been in relationships and I'm going to wrap this up. I've been in relationships where women had demands and they wanted this, this, this protections, provisions, stepfather, all these things. But they weren't giving me shit. They were giving me some cat. Sometimes Nietzsche, that and niggas that's just, just not need enough. to grow up. Some niggas just need to grow up. And, and they some women, and some, and respectfully, days. and some women need to too. But at the same I time, agree. it's got to be balanced. Like I say, it's got to be balanced. What are you bringing to the table to inspire I bring this particular lot. situation? I'm not saying you as particular. I'm the just saying everybody team. has to. You have to really guys. realize, like, what are you bringing to this man's life? Because we know if we understand what he's bringing to yours, and a lot of times it it be off. It be off. I'm just, I'm just keeping keep it in the real. Like pussy and some motherfucking goddamn what clothes wash ain't gonna cut. That's why I asked earlier the women like, what do men look for in a wife? And I agree with all their answers on this side. They you pretty much snapped. said the same thing. You yeah, snapped she, on that she one. snapped the fuck oh off. Gosh. I'm gonna start calling you Sammy Snap me. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sign up for her e-course, nigga. Fuck Sammy <laughs> Shoppy, Sammy these women, snap please. Me. But I mean, but but yeah, that's that's ultimately what it is. And again, it goes back to it's called sexual dimorphism. What okay. the fuck okay. you just said, oh, bro? Break, break it down. Hold on, break it down. Break it down. <laughs> sexual dimorphism. Talk to talk to me. Basically, the breakdown is like just even from a evolutionary standpoint, men and women look for different things in each other. And as far as sexual attraction goes, women typically will like a man that has a chiseled jaw, strong chest, because that's why, because he looks like he can protect you. This is some caveman shit. This is back in the day shit. We like a woman that's feminine. That's a certain type of way. Like all these things matter. Today is different because we're kind of more on evil uh, level playing ground in terms of like being productive in the economy and society and everything. So you compromise there like, OK, I'm not just the one bringing home the bacon now. Now she's making money or she might even be making more money than me. That's why we keep going to money, because that's the first thing that most women look at when it comes to a man. You could disagree or whatever, but that's just typically how it goes in the sexual dating market. True. This is where all these Me, conversations I, come I, from. I, you know. But I think this is important. Like, you're making a great point. But I feel like these are conversations all too often that are not had when they need it. They're necessary. That's why we need to in have the them more on stages. these yeah, on these platforms these so that you can come dialogue. into. So, so, yeah. so, so part of the solution is not only having these conversations, but making sure that we all make it a point that this is up front. No, when you meet a woman, if I meet you in the mall today and I think that you look good, I'm not going to walk up to you and be like, okay, what are you looking for in a husband? This is what I'm looking for in a wife. Like, we can get to that point. <laughs> yeah. But when y'all go on a date and y'all talking about getting serious and getting into that space, like, that's they, definitely necessary. Can I ask y'all a question? Can I, can I ask just, a question? And I, and I, and I feel like and women just want to... Hold on. I feel like, like you know what? what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, we yeah. don't know this shit going in, but... Um, what did you just say to me? What's the last thing you just said? No, I was saying I, I was I'm saying of... that and like it's a good point that you're making, but it's like in the spirit of moving forward and in resolve. Like you don't know that shit going in, but in resolve and what we talking about here, obviously what it boils down to is the communication. Because are we on the same type of time? Okay. Are we compatible? Should we be doing this? Are we looking for the same things? Am I able to give you what you want? Are you able to give me what I want? And if we're being honest, what it comes down to is communication and being honest. Like, no, for sure. Do you want to be married? Okay. When you date, are you dating married, with the... You was married, but you want to be married again? Happily 
So moving forward, when you date dudes, are you dating them with the expressed intent of merge? Definitely. You say that up front that this is what I'm looking for. I feel like that's a that's definitely a part of I haven't No, dated, I'm asking I haven't you, dated in a very long it's been almost So the years. next so the next dude that you date, are you gonna express to him up front that well, this, shortly. Like that is in my future plans. I would I wanna do that. So if you're not into that, like be honest about that. We can be friends. There's twelve million pussy. No, he's not gonna there. be your friend. Yeah, but still he's not gonna be your friend. Talk to him, Grant. No, that's no that's no, that's, that's cool. And that's if cool. I get any type of energy from you that that's not Something you're, I'm not, I'm cool. Like, no, I'm telling you now, just, just save you some time. He's not gonna be your friend. I understand that, but he'll, that, he'll be, but he'll fake be your friend, but he's still gonna, back. he's still gonna wanna smash, that's he's still gonna work, you know what I mean? They just wanna understand. fuck. They don't want men yeah. that, they just wanna fuck. They're not looking at nobody like, I wanna be with this person. A man does not go into anything saying that I wanna be with this person. They just looking at you, you look good. But it'll be I disagree. Hold on. How? Hold on, man. Nina, respect, respectfully. Right, okay, then, then. It'll be those same niggas crying, sliding down the fucking wall with their heads in their hands, crying because they don't wanna lose you. Of course, yeah, once they get to know you, but I'm saying initially. No, I'm saying in a you, relationship, but. But um, I'm saying he's talking about you dating and you meeting the person. Do you initially tell them that you want to be married? As soon as you meet them, hi, my name is, I want to be married. No, no that's they, not. I mean, real, honestly, right? I don't mean no disrespect, but you're kind of unqualified for this because you said you haven't even been he in a relationship been, ever. That's what I was trying to say. So, <laughs> with, all, with all due respect. What you saying is it sounds good, but that's not that's I'm just I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, so you, Nina. You, I'm just saying. That's not true. At the end of the day, she had somebody, but she obviously had her experiences too. Exactly, of course. Everybody had their experience. That's not what she said. That's not what she said. That's yeah, why but you can read between single. the lines. Oh, no, Brittany, hold on, we're men. Brittany. We're men. Hold on, hold on. Can I say something? Can I say something, say something real quick? Okay, but let me say something real quick. I need y'all women to understand something. We are simple. We are not complex. We don't read between lines. We talk very direct. We say what it is, and we expect direct answers. We don't have time to sit here and solve Ruby's cues and try to figure out whether she actually been in a relationship or not. It's like, what the fuck better are you doing? Exactly. Dealing with, a, dealing with another direct, simple woman. Fucking. But what, 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 <laughs> I, I'm saying, I think that's why it comes down to individuality that's and the it. shit that you're into. Because I think I'm more just into a nigga that think deeper than that. Like, but you and gotta stop cool. discrediting I, men for being I men. I respect not, the fact that I'm not saying that you're into what you into. But it doesn't make the, 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 the rest of everybody bad. That's, that's what I'm, I'm saying. saying. Just that. because a man but is I'm not, not into that. what you're into doesn't mean he's not masculine. Doesn't mean he's not mature. Doesn't mean that you don't say you keep on discrediting everybody because they're not what you want. When there's not even a documented case of what you want being existing. Yes, you did. You said. A man that has grown up, he needs to grow up. Yeah, it is all it's all boiling down to the fact it's all talk. it's all boiling down to the fact that he's not monogamous and that's what you want. You gotta stop throwing a hissy fit, Queen. That, that, that ugly, Everything ugly. doesn't go your way. That's what I'm saying. But it doesn't make him a bad person, it makes him a different type of being. That's all I'm saying. Like, I'm that listen. You can like what you like, baby. If you like apples and oranges, okay. I like pears and grapes. It doesn't mean that I'm a bad motherfucker because I like pears and grapes. <laughs> That's all. Eat your apples and oranges if it exists. Go ahead, Queen. I'm going to turn your mic back. Go ahead. You ain't now got to turn it up. I'm not settling for none of that shit. Lick breathe. You'd rather all be unhappy than settle, settle, right? I'm not settling for none of that shit. So, ladies, question. Would you rather settle for something... That's a question. That's 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 a conversation in itself. Uh, settling. Get, get, get ugly money. Would you rather be unhappy? No. Or settle. Fuck unhappiness. What well, is unhappy. the point of being here on this earth and just die being unhappy with a nigga? Fuck you. I'm talking about unhappy single, baby. I'm not talking about unhappy in a relationship. Unhappy single. I'm not unhappy. I, 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 I would like to be in a relationship, but how am I unhappy? I'm taking care of myself. I'm doing better. Exactly. I'm living better. My skin fucking my glowing. Skin, my clothes I'm working better. out every motherfucking day. Like, how can I be in this set? What the hell? No. How can you be but unhappy? But you're unhappy because you don't have... You're no, unhappy because. I didn't say I was unhappy. No, I'm not. I didn't no. 
women I to, been through to, shit, but to I, say I'm not saying you were I really, I really think it's easier, really easier for younger women to be like, oh, I, my skin glowing, girl. Like, I'm in my bag. I'm telling my trips. But I think about, I saw something um, on Instagram last night. This man's wife had a brain in, in or however you say aneurysm, it. Aneurysm, yes. okay. okay. Get me together. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, this lady can't do nothing. I think about that, like, when we are older. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if we happen to get sick, I don't have kids. I only have my, I have my mom. And she married. You know what I'm saying? Like, the bigger picture. So, I probably would settle into whatever that means to being settled. Because I don't want to do this. Like, I'm going to get old one day. Hopefully. But settle for what? I mean, that would have to be on my Happiness. It's but like you want to be... But to be niggas not going to be there wiping your ass if he got feelings and relations with 12 different niggas. Like, he's not going to yes, be there. He I mean, yes, he is. He doesn't care true. about those women. Yeah, I swear. Like, We've been talking that, about this I'm already. You're making everything happen, about dick and true. pussy. Yeah, yeah, there's more in the world that's important than dick and pussy. Then why don't y'all niggas act like it? Then why are you acting like it just... It just totally discredits the man. Y'all give a fuck about. Y'all will ruin your no, whole family. No, we care about our families. We care about protecting. Y'all will ruin your whole ca- families about some dick and pussy. About some pussy, like. If you let that ruin the family, the family wasn't that tight. If you let some dick and pussy ruin your family. Your fucking mother crying and down bad and all of that shit. You're doing that in front of your daughter. You don't give a fuck. Okay, when she's homeless and she can't pay the bills and the kids are, are, are getting That's kicked out of school, she's going to cry too. You. It don't matter if he's cheating on you. As long as he's putting that roof over your head and protecting you from a bullet, you're that's putting all the way fuck you too much power about. into it dick and pussy. If you fucked up, it's depressed, w- ready to kill yourself, jump right. off the edge of the bridge. You, my daughter, and I'm telling you what's important from these niggas. Like, come oh, on. Now. Okay, so what I respect what you're saying, but you're basically saying that you're willing to throw away everything good of a man because of some dick and pussy. You're not focused no, on the bigger is. picture. Don't try to yeah, turn yeah, this around. No, because if you walk away because he does one thing that you don't like, that's your dick and pussy. Over again, and he just keep disrespecting, disrespecting, and promising, lying, and doing the Dick same shit. Dick and pussy. Shit. No, and that's, the that's him. I'm Don't try to turn that around on women. I'm listening. That's niggas. Dick and pussy is not the bigger picture. Me being there to support, being there to nurture, being there to provide, being there to protect us going generational wealth, us goddamn grazing these kids for a better life, that is the bigger picture. And you're basically saying, hold on, you're basically saying, yo, throw all that shit away that a man brings to a woman because of some dick and pussy. So that, that is basic. It is basic. It is basic. Settle for that bullshit you talking about. You gonna be this. miserable, you homeless. We brought no, up the, we brought I'm not gonna be miserable, homeless. Because like I said, I make six figures. Respect, baby. Respect. Listen, go ahead, Britt. Go ahead, Britt. Go ahead, Britt. Go ahead, Britt. This is why I feel like the whole like cheating and all that. It, it won't even probably matter for real. Okay. I have a mar- my best friends. They married. Uh, one of my girlfriends. She's been with this man since she was like 20. They've been married for like six years, two kids or whatever. I kid you not. Because of how his daughter. Sees how her dad treat the family. She believes like women are supposed to take care of home. No lie, my niece has said this. Wow. She has seen her mom go to nursing school and her dad has been able to support her to go to nursing school. So in her little mind, she thinks women are supposed to go to school in her mind. Mm. And when her dad come home, she run into him, period. She mm, run into him. So it's just like, I don't, I don't ever see my friend really dishonoring her husband one day by saying because they have some things in their marriage or whatever but i don't ever see her saying to her daughter well you know your daddy and this and this and this and that like, i wouldn't dream of that but you know what i'm saying I'm still but it's just like but at the same shit. time we can have real conversations with like our daughters that. when it's time but it's still like we have to prepare our daughters like with the real but i'm not going to taint my daughter's mind of like this negative energy and energy and image of what relationships should be. We're going to be real about it. But mm. even if I've had bitter moments or if I'm unhappy, I'm not about to install Put that, that on her. my daughter. Okay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't you know what I'm saying? It. Like, we, we, we can't do that. And I feel like as black women, especially like my age group, our parents really didn't talk to us. I mean, they may have said some things, but they don't talk to us like, for real, like the relationship dynamics is supposed yeah. to be between men and women. Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like the real relationship dynamics are what it's supposed to really be. And so, they know for real, for real, in all fairness, we don't fucking know. None this of us do. Trying to figure the fuck yeah, out. No. 
But I'm just saying, like... That's why we had this conversation, because we learned how to fly the plane while it's in the air. Right. Gang. I will be fair in, in saying this, though. I am a person that exercises accountability. So, with that being said, I do feel like there are niggas in this world that can be faithful. Do they look like the niggas that I have dated in the past? Probably no. Maybe I said I that need, an hour ago. Maybe I, <laughs> I said that need, an hour ago. Maybe I need to go <laughs> to the fucking library and find the nigga that I'm looking for. But look, they'll probably put the pedal down. No, no, no. Accept him at them lame ass clothes for the rest but of his look, life. Yes. But listen, but listen, what's yes. my lane? Well, I get that, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying to her point. But, but, but to her point, yeah. For your spirit. But if you meet that dude at that level and you're like, you know what, I can deal with this, but he's just at that level for life, you willing to do that? I not know you can't change him, you can't change him, what you can't improve him, you can't do none of that. I am not superficial. At what you mean, why not? Day, I didn't see, I didn't see. ain't gonna grow into be the man of my dreams and I can take off them penny loafers and put on him some Yeezys and then he gonna grow up and he gonna he do don't see he do. she said and talking about Yeezys like she said and talking about Yeezys and I'm gonna suck his dick every Jesus. night and we gonna be doing our the thing biggest. the biggest the biggest you hear me yeah I agree ma'am <laughs> hey yes you can and if not then my side nigga I'll just laugh I'm willing to give it a fucking shot hey man hey man this has been an amazing episode man extremely informative shouts out everybody Everybody that's tuned in, everybody's been watching. I see it's a whole bunch of y'all in here, man. Y'all, we're the shattered and grown. Thank y'all so much. Uh, we're gonna go around the room and give a ch everybody a chance to uh, let y'all know where to follow them at. If you want to slide in DMs or whatever the hell you want to do, want to book a feature, uh, we're gonna start over there in the corner once again, man. Go ahead and let them know where to follow you at, my brother. Man, Crank Lucas, the rap dudes, will follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. You got a project I coming out. I got TikTok. You better, shut, you better me, plug, uh, plug, shut me down. Plug that project. Uh, Cranklucas.com as well. And March 31st, Streets Necessity album is coming out on all streaming music platforms. Make sure y'all check that shit out. I think the first single that we putting out is I Rebuke You. So y'all make sure y'all tap in with that. Definitely dope conversation. Thank you for having me. Love, brother. That, that, that ugly morning. Big Snow. Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can follow me on all social media at Snow Safina and except Instagram, it's the Snow God. G A W D is God. But um, I got a video and a song dropping on Friday, so tap in for that. It's What's the Rolling. name of the song? It's called Rolling. Okay. And the video's fire. So Papa tap in, y'all. You trying to copy for me because I got a song and called Rolling too. And I got an EP too. dropping in the summer called The Snow Day. I mean Snow Day. So just stay tuned with me. Follow me on social. Media. There it is. Yeah, it's the chill. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate everybody for tapping in. It is your boy Biz, just chill. One word, B I Z Z, just chill all together. If you want to watch the full episode, you always can go to YouTube, Ugly Money TV. Appreciate everybody out there. Yes, ma'am. I'm Sammy, and you can follow me on Sammy Shot Me on um, Instagram. Shouts out, Sammy. <laughs> the Brittany, and you can follow me on I am Brittany, and that's B R I T N E Y H. That, that, that ugly okay. Look, she always the okay. camera, she, the yeah, camera ready instead of the camera that you the camera is camera. That's why, but that's why she. Go ahead, come on, Nina, camera. The biggest. Come on Nina. now. You the one. Go ahead, mm -hmm. Nina. Get in now. Y'all can follow me at <laughs> Slick Ass Nina. Oh shit. S L I C C No K Ass Nina. Um, I'm Nina. I didn't say my name first. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I had a great time. Thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure y'all follow me. I'm going live right now, so I'm going to see y'all. Y'all need to tune in and send me some fire flames, some hearts, some love, Boy, something. That, that, that ugly morning. Gotta give a special shout out to VVS Rainer in the building that, that, that for babysitting morning. and shouts out Marley. That, 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 she been over Molly here. Molly was chilling the whole time. No, she been, she been. Oh, over, I'm yeah. telling you, I'm a baby. You talk bad about her. She chilled I'm, the whole yeah, time. Yeah, she was over here kicking major flavor. We over here yeah. having peach tea, <laughs> watching Baby Shark, man. Uh, shouts out BBS Raina too, man. On the check-in, she's off the camera. She refuses to get on the camera, but uh, make sure y'all tune in to her. Uh, you can follow me at Ugly Money Nietzsche. That's Ugly Money N I C H E. The Ugly Money Music Summit. It's April 7th through the 9th at the atrium. Make sure you go to Ugly Money. 
MusicSummit.org to get your tickets, man. Remember, um, this episode is being brought to you by Engorge Rejuvenation T, promoting erections, improving stamina, size, and libido. Go to Engorge.com. That's E-N-G-O-R-G-E.com to get yours today. All natural male supplement. Remember, the bigger the dream, the bigger the risk, the bigger the payoff. This has been the Ugly Money Podcast Trigger Alert. Appreciate y'all. Like and subscribe. It's that ugly money.